Yo, what's good? This is our first show in 2022, yo. You know? I know. You know, we haven't done this. We've been neglecting the show, bro. I'm so uh, sorry. Uh, you can speak to your, <laughs> for yourself. You have been neglected. I, 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 I have. I have. I have. <laughs> you know, family things happen. You know, you got, you know, happy wife, happy life, and all that stuff. You know what I mean? So, yes, uh, but yeah, man, we're back in full effect, man. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Yo, but yeah, man, it's great to be back, man. Uh, uh, we got some stuff to talk about. Uh, we're we're going to be talking about, uh, you know, we're doing some cover fire right there. We're going to be talking about some Moon Knight. Uh, some Boba the last Fett. Time we did a podcast. Holy I know exactly, right? Uh, we're doing some Peacemaker. Talk about Peacemaker. Uh, and we're you know gonna be doing our you know comic cover, music cover, comic covers. Uh, you know that me and Doom set up. Uh, but yeah, before we start anything, man, let's give a shout out to the friends of the show, man. Uh, started for Jose Gonzalez, man. Shout out to you, um, brother. Uh, at Spidey's Powder Tumblers, hit them up, man, for your custom made powder coated stainless steel tumblers, guys. Uh, you could get anything basically done by him. Um, almost anything, I'm sure. Uh, you know, get your tumblers, get your keychains, uh, wallets, uh, coasters, t-shirts, and yeah, you know, vibrators buy for the ladies. You never know. Might be doing vibrators. Might be doing vibrators. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey babe, guess what they're doing? <laughs> Do they have the double-headed one? My wife loves those. Hey, hey, I, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Six I different really... speeds from <laughs> sensual to jackhammer. <laughs> so yeah, man, hit him up on IG, man. Spidey's undersc- underscores on pot underscore tumblers, guys. Uh and next up we have Erod, man, at Express Comic Book Press and Services here, man. Shout out to Erod 212. Uh hit him up with the EMW 10 code, guys. Uh get to pass that off your your cleaning and um pressing service. Uh, hit him up IG Express CBP. Email him at Express CBP at yahoo.com, guys. He submits through CGC and CBC has some um submission uh, with the CGC. I think he gets gives you just fifteen percent. I think it is uh, off. Uh, next up we have here is uh some LCSs we got to give a shout out to, and this is one of them right here, man. Shout out to uh Skeleton Comics. Um, and shout out to Angie and uh Arsenio and Adonis, man. Uh, use the one-off code EMW ten get to ten percent off your 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 first uh. Purchase through uh, Skunks and Comics. Here you get your back issues, current issues, uh, comic book supplies, whatever you can. Check out the website. I think action figures, Funko Pops, and stuff like that, too. All right. Next up we have here is my man, Richie. This is my LCS. Mine's and Josh's LCS. Uh, this is Richie's Comic Cabana, man. Uh, here. It's a dope shop, man. I'm, you know, me and, me and the guys, me, E-Rod, and Biggs are talking about. We're going to hit. We're going we're gonna, to uh, round up and go uh, visit Richie over there I would love month. to see a tour of this place. And oh, you know what? Places. We we should we should do that. I would love to see it. We need to go uh, to Paul's too. And we might do that too next. We need to go to Paul's Josh. house. <laughs> well, you yeah. set that up, bro. We follow. Yeah, you know, we follow I don't soon. know if he's gonna be down for that one, but <laughs> I got you, man. I mean, you making know. some sandwiches. Uh, and then last <laughs> but not least, man, and shout out to ANS Comics, man. I do yeah. not have the uh, flyer for the next one. Uh, I'll, I'll, you know, I talked to Doom about that. Uh, ANS yeah, Comics. Uh, but yeah, man. Uh, this is um Broski's LCS. Uh, here you got uh, two shops over here in Jersey. Uh, they in Teaneck and North Bergen. If you're in the tri-state area, guys, uh, they also do the local shows, uh, Clifton and so forth. Uh, and then, uh, damn, man, if, if I could do that. I'm going to try to do it throughout the show. We have uh, another one too, man. ATX.com, is it right? Yeah, um, so A-T-T-I-X comics.com. Um, discount code EMW15 at xcomics.com. That is A-T-T-I-X comics.com. They're our newest, um, I guess you call them sponsors if you want. Mm-hmm. They gave us a giveaway. Uh, we can do that tonight. Um, I, I just have to go get it and uh, let me know if you want to do a giveaway. Um, yeah. We'll probably just do a number one to 21 or whatever. And, yeah, we, we um, do but that. They, they give 15% off. So EMW 15. And uh, they're just mostly recent books. You know, maybe if you forgot something or you skipped something, you couldn't get it at your LCS. 
just another resource. We're just kind of giving you guys um, some resources, basically what it is, right? So, you know, yeah. if you miss it at your LCS, you got skeleton. If you miss it at skeleton, you can try to check out addicts. So, yeah, we're just trying to hook you guys up. Yeah, definitely, definitely, man. Fifty percent off, man. That's, that's, he rides that's... backstage, man. Yeah, 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 I got him. Just let me just try to do this real quick. I got you, Rob. My bad, man. Um, you know, because I, I know, I know. I, I think it's um. Pretty over a month that Doom sent me this about eight ticks, and uh, I kind of been neglecting that shit too, man. Yeah, I've been falling off too, man. Addicts, <laughs> eight ticks, yeah. eight ticks, man. And, and, and I just want to get this right, man. Uh, give me a second, fellas. Eight ticks, right. and you done, hey, man. Let me go back here, man. Let me add my man Erod, man. What's going on, Erod? Yo, fellas, what's good? What's good? What's up, what's up, what's up, man? I like your shirt. Oh shit, yo, I like this. That's dope. A variant one, bro. <laughs> yeah, okay. I like that. Shirts, man. I had to give me shirts are coming. I just got to get sizes so I can make my order. Sweet, man. Sweet. Oh, there you go. Hey, you know, you, you put up ANS. I just went to that shop for the first time because I talk to those guys all the time. Yeah. Uh, Bob, oh, this is a big, yeah, Alex, uh, the, the young kid, right? Yeah, man. You know what? Uh, he's got a good shop. We're, uh, I'll probably, uh, some just off brand, but I was talking to him about doing a video on his shop because it, it, everything he has in the store, uh, is online also. So he, he he's yeah. got a, a lot of inventory, Mike. Yeah, yeah, I, I've been watching because he posts up some back issues, uh, mm -hmm. too, and he has wall books. And I saw a nice little FF forty nine that he posted up on IG. I was like, damn, man, I, that's that's something I might want to holler at. Yeah, see, uh, nice, see if he has a payment yeah. plan going on. Yeah, that too, shit with that book, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> but yeah, here, here it is, guys, right there, man. A6 Comics, guys. That's it right there. I got to set up uh, uh, a nice little font there to show you. we get uh, the, the EMW15, guys, and all that. So next show should be ready. All right? Uh, but yeah, man, let me start giving some shout-outs in the chat real quick, man. I know we have a couple of people uh, in the chats there. Uh, first, I seen from what I've seen there, man, on my list, it's going to be Lords of the Long... Uh, Lords of the Long Marks. Lord, Lord of Brooklyn, what's going on to you? We got Wesley in there. Uh, comics and pops, man. Shout out to Team Nerd Herd, guys. So, uh, you know what's going on to everybody out there. Oh, uh, and that crew. We got GT Comics is in the building. Jersey to the Bay, man. What's up? Comic 801, man. Uh, you got Jersey to the Bay. I said I already said that already, man. Uh, we got Bricks, the Iron Geek in the building. Thank you for joining us today on this impromptu show. Uh, we got Heroes Reborn. Heroes Reborn is going to be posted up on uh, what is it? Uh, King Kong 2, guys. King Kong 2, uh, coming up, I think, in March. If I'm mistaken, uh, Erod ourselves is gonna be there too. Uh, you know, other people that are, that are off the head that's gonna be selling. I think very Gary. I don't know beyond that. Excuse me, guys. Uh, but it's gonna be a dope show regardless because the first one was awesome. Um, who else we have here? Um, looks like we have Roman Curtis is in the building, man. What's going on? Uh, and e yo, Biggs is in the chat too. I see you, Biggs. What's up, man? What's going on, man? All right. <clears throat> so yeah, man. Uh, a couple of things, like I said, I want to talk about. Uh, is, like I said, it's gonna be uh, uh, Moon Knight, uh, Book of Boba Fett, Peacemaker, music, uh, some music covers and stuff like that. And later on, if you know we have time, we we'll do a little show and tell. Uh, I know Broski picked up a nice book, uh, and you know we'll do a giveaway. We'll do a giveaway. So stay tuned for that from Atix Comics, guys. Uh, all these LCSs, man, it's pretty dope. You know, hooking us up with giveaways. Shout out to ANS also. Uh, so yeah, man. Uh, use the codes too, man. On the ATX, fifty percent off. That's it's pretty, pretty good. I don't, I don't hear too many of that. I hear five, maybe ten percent. You know, but fifteen, it's good. It's good. Yeah, must <laughs> take advantage of it. Uh, so yeah, man. So let's start off with a little bit of a. Uh, and, and I went through this and shout out to my Morello. You know, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. You get better. You get. You getting better, my friend. Uh, we'll, so we'll be the judge of that. Yeah, 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 we know. I guess, I guess so. But yeah, shout out to Mike Morello, man, over here. You know, with uh, his cover fire, he does also uh, cover tunes. But this, you know, we're doing cover fire this week, uh, and some nice uh, picks that he has here, man. Uh, first off, let me see. It's going to be uh, we're going to start with stiff competitions. Then we're going to do some runner ups, and then we're going to have the winner that he picked for this week uh, as a cover for uh, for new comic book day this week. Uh, all right, guys. I haven't uh, first... seen a Tedesco cover in a while. Wow, nice. I know. Nice no, no, cover. no, no, no. This is brand new. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then that's why. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically, yeah. this is the Walking Dead Deluxe issue thirty-one. You know, basically reprints. Uh, the Walking Dead uh, is in color. Uh, interiors. You know, you know, because the original one is black and white. So interiors color is in color on this one here. And uh, my man. Uh, 
uh, Morello puts down uh, Tedesco is a hit or miss for me, which is surprising because to me he's more of a hit. You know what I mean? Uh, anyway, he puts down Tedesco is no, a hit. Wait, or... I I actually have to agree with that statement. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Tedesco is a hit or miss for me, and I hate that image is milking the cow on this re-release of every Walking Dead issue. However, it doesn't mean we should ignore the great piece of art. Uh, this is whether I want it to be or not. Uh, this is a dope cover, man. And Tedesco on the Walking Dead's been I I I I've been I've been enjoying them, you know. Um, which I think you, know, you think is a, is a hit or miss this one. I, I, I this is a hit hit definitely. Uh, the fact that the the heads, you know, like I think someone said, duffel bag full of heads, which she has originally, but the show is the the just the slashing shit, the details of it. So it's cool. Yeah. This uh, is, this is not one of my. I don't think is one of his better ones. He's done a couple good ones lately. I don't pick up the Tedesco mm-hmm. covers. I pick up whatever the brand new A cover is, and then the B, which is just kind of a they, they modify a couple things from the original covers. But uh, yeah, I mean, like I, I know he talks about like milking this, but first of all, number one, why wouldn't you? Number that's number one. Number two, how many people did not read The Walking Dead? Like the Walking Dead show started when what the Walking Dead was fifty issues deep, yeah. at least. More. More. Yeah. More. So, yeah. So, yeah. so I mean, I never read it, and I'm reading it now, and I and I love it. So Tedesco, in my opinion, is one of those. Remember what we just used to do? Those uh, respected but not collected. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He falls to me right inside that category because if you just go on eBay, just type up Tedesco. They, they they know who you're talking about, right? So it'll come up comic books, anime, and you'll see some of the stuff that he's done, like Harley Quinn. He's done some Superman stuff. He's done uh, Miracle Man. You know the 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 hot thing right now, Miracle Man. He's done some really great stuff. So this quote to me falls right in that category. It's a perfect one where it's like respected, but not not really like collected to a point. I'm tending to agree with oh. some so with this one at least, Tito. Um, King the comment saying reminds me of Malieve a little bit. It does this this one here. So yeah, I, I digs it, you know. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna move on, man. We'll move on from uh, Walking Dead uh, to another stiff competition, which is She Hulk. She Hulk number one dropped this week, guys. Uh, how many covers came out for that? Who knows? Uh, but this is an Adam Hughes cover that he picked. Um, uh, what you guys think about this one? Nope. Nah. Nope. Yeah, I mean. So when it comes to Adam Hughes and women, if if he's not showing a little bit of something, <laughs> it's it's not gonna fly, you know. I mean, I mean, she she give you the right boob right there, you know. He's yeah, like, yeah, but that, you, that, yeah. That, I mean, I know she's, she's popping, emo, she's popping the right boob. But... She give the hell out of this shit. You know? she, I mean, I know she's She Hulk, but she's I don't know, she's a little too muscular or something. I don't know. She's got like the China thing going on. It's yeah. like the power girl thing. If you do a, if you do this as a power girl, but you open up the 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 center, it's a big book. The window book. You know, yeah. yeah, it's it's a huge book, right? But then you have anytime Adam Hughes does something and it's clothed, for the most part, it doesn't yeah. really do well. It's a nice book though. I mean, yeah. it's, it's Adam Hughes. You can tell. You don't I even would, have to yeah. tell me, right? It's one of those artists that as soon as you show, like we all know, right? I always like his signature though. Ah. <laughs> and How Josh, was that? Was, that again? Bits was already an issue in the 70s ah. when the show started. Yeah, I know it was pretty late in there. Yeah, in the 70s. Let me turn the Wi Fi off. All right. So uh, we're going to move on. Uh, you know, there's another She Hulk on this list, too, man. We'll get to that in a few, man. Oh, talk about right now. How about that? <laughs> Run up. It's going to be another She Hulk. And this one to me was the best cover of uh, all the She Hulk covers. Uh, you know, I'm biased because I really like Jen Bartel's art. Uh, and, and she's doing all the eight covers from what I've known from the one through three issues that I've seen. Um, but yeah, this is a dope, a dope one. Uh, let me see what my man Mike Morrell puts down, man. Bartel's colors and line work are perfect match for She-Hulk, uh, much like her run of Woman of Marvel covers from last year's comes this uh, She-Hulk entry. I love it. Certainly not um, not good enough to win, but I'll still buy one. Uh, guys, what y'all think of this? <laughs> uh, you know, I like it. It reminds you of the woman. She did like the Woman of Power. Yeah, my man just uh, said that. Model, model. <laughs> my man just said that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it, no, no, it does. It does remind me have a feel of that. So, yeah, it's dope. Yeah, I, I like how it's more feminine. I, I like her. It, it, it just feels like it's missing something to me. I, I'm not a big fan of these, um, 
obviously this is not a blanket statement, but I'm not really a fan of the 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 covers where it's just a one thing and no background. Obviously, mm. there are some that I do like, but you know what it looks like? It looks like a con sketch. It looks basic. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, okay. And I think the art germ She Hulk is the best one. Not that I think that's like outstanding, but I think I like the art germ one the best. All right. All right. So that, that you know that, that's enough play with She Hulk. That's two covers, and you know. We're, so we got three runners up, man. Uh, next runner up is going to be this one here, Incredible Hulk issue number this three, guys. Like that. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, cover done by David Nakayama. You picked this <laughs> one. Yeah. Yeah. Out of all the Hulk threes, he picked this one. Dude, this G- one's dope. Man. This one is dope, bro. Uh... I don't know what <laughs> the tread war is way better than this. I knew one. you were gonna say yep. that. It's tread true. war was good. It was I good. Yeah, I, I like. No, it. I, no, I think no, this no. one's tread awesome. war is going to be like very collectible from years. This was on. too. It, this is too, too easy. Too you just repetitive. took something that existed already. Yeah, like, but it's but it's modified though. It is modified, so it's not yeah. easy. Every single one that he did was modified. Whatever. There's like five modifiers. Ah. Yeah. And I like, you know, I love the classic blue from the Hulk one, but you know, this is my obviously green Hulk. I like the green background. I love it. I really do. I'm with you on this one, Josh. This is my favorite one out of the Incredible Hulks that came out. Uh, Shut your mouth. This is your favorite. One. My favorite one, uh, yeah, of issue three. Uh, I'm off this East East West. Yeah, I'm with you, dude. I'm with you, wow. dude. <laughs> oh shit! Oh man! Bullshit! Oh, man. Listen, out of all the. Uh, this was my favorite one. Yeah, the sketch one was better than this one. Oh, that 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 wasn't that. The black and white one you're talking about. The black and white yeah. one's dope. That one was dope. It's just an yeah. homage. That's all this is. I just bought this. I just bought this one from uh, Immortal Hulk. They issue like 30 or something with like that. 35. Yeah, yeah, good for you. Homage right. that shit. Right. <laughs> and you know what? Collect what you like, man. There you go. I, obviously, I can't like. without you. I'm like, oh. Not, no. You can't get help. Just don't, say, don't just tell no. us you fucking grabbed it, though. Listen, I, I, I'm a professional collector. I know what I'm talking about. All right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, yo. Real quick, though, my, my man, Mike Morello, he put down, if you don't like this homage cover, uh, then I think there is something wrong, and you are in the wrong hobby. Oh, shit. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know you what? I'm in the wrong hobby. I'm in the wrong hobby. Oh, shit. Obviously, you know, you know, didn't say that shit. Mike Morello said, basically, stick to golf. That's it. <laughs> I That's guess it. so. I will. Dang it. Uh, next up is another runner up. Last runner up is going to be uh, King Spawn. King Spawn uh, cover done by Jonathan Glapian. And guys, if you're not familiar with Jonathan Glapian, he did those uh, uh, the basically the the shading on the coloring of uh, Capullo mm-hmm. on Batman uh, New Fifty Two mm-hmm. run over there. Uh, yeah, man, this cover's pretty dope. Uh, he puts is down this before under Jock. Not sure. <laughs> Could be. Could be. What? Who knows? Does he study on the jock? Because it kind of no, reminds no, me. Of he, no, he he's like Capullo's guy. He like yeah. works almost like exclusively with him. <coughs> All right, well, I'm just about. I'm just saying. I don't even think this is the best King Spawn cover out of the two of them. I bet you I if you didn't one, put who I, this is from. Didn't Baron's do one? I think Baron's did one too, right? I don't, know, I don't think it was Baron. Yeah, I think uh, uh, Kingdom Comics is right on the money. That's why I was thinking about that Wolverine cover. The Nabisco? Yeah, it reminds me. Yeah, yeah, facts. Yeah, the Nabisco Wolverine. Good eye, good eye. I get that one. Yeah, but my man Mike Morales. Let me read this right here real quick, man. He puts down off uh, for the run up of King Spawn every week. Seemingly, there's a Spawn cover uh, for a list, and often by a different artists. Although Baron seems to have taken the lion's share lately, basically, you know what I mean. Now this week it's Glapian turn on um, uh, the imp- the impressionistic. There you go. Representation that feels very Sinkovich, which my man um, T- um Tito just said, uh, which is why I love it. Probably it is a manic and awesome. It's probably not a style for everyone, but it is for me, man. Um, guys, what y'all think of this one here? Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's good. It's cool. Right. It's all right. I, I like the other cover better. Yeah, I'm with Josh on that one. This one's okay. It's it looks like an old grandpa spawn. Uh, like, like, yeah, like I feel like if the face was different, maybe it'd be a different story. I know his mouth is opening, but it looks like a fucking great beard. I do. I do. <laughs> I do, I do. Uh, so yeah, man. So we're gonna go with the winner, man. The winner of the week that he picked was gonna be this one right here, Moon Knight ish number seven, cover done by Raza, guys. Uh, this is a dope cover. It is when yeah, I first yeah. saw it. This is a dope I just ass cover. This up myself. 
I, I, I missed out. Well, maybe let's see if ATIC's got one. It's uh, it's not that expensive. It's like a thirteen dollar comic. So. Yeah, right even if he did miss out, it. it's not a big deal. Nah, uh, but yeah, man. Uh, here he puts down an amazing cover for incredible uh, rendering. Uh, it is it is really hard to make a white and white cover pop, but he does it here. Uh, the silhouette is a masterful touch. Somehow this cover is simple and complex all at the same time. Great stuff. Uh, I'm digging this. The white on white is pretty, you know, good. Uh, I like it. I like the shadow how he looks different. I think this also rolled the hype train of the trailer that just came out. I yes, so yeah, yeah, it is a timing. The timing, yep. The timing was right. That. Not only that, but it was it's good in a way for. There was no uh, incentive on Moon Knight number seven, so it was good that we got, you know, even though we didn't get an incentive, we got kind of a little nice something extra cover. with this I wonder one. If this is the same guy that did that Punisher <laughs> Bang Bang one. It reminds me of uh, from from Star Wars Episode One, where when uh, or I'm sorry, Star Wars Episode about? Two, where Anakin's hugging Padme and his shadow shows up on the the outside of the hut, and it looks like Vader. His hair makes it look like Vader's helmet. You know what I'm nah, talking about? I don't know that one. You no. never seen you never seen no. in that movie. The funny thing about that movie is real quick, that shot what was completely unintentional. Like they didn't even know it. So it wasn't on purpose that his shadow was supposed to look like Vader. That was just by pure coincidence. Which mm. is really weird. Yeah. So it wasn't like created for it no. or anything. It actually <laughs> no. it actually happened because of the way his hair is, because you know how they have the yeah. With the Padawans, they have the ponytail, and then on the back they have the the short but kind of thick ponytail. The way it juts out, it it kind of looks like Vader's helmet, like the the back end of his helmet. So yeah. weird. Yeah, my man over here, my heroes were born talking about his LCS over here out there in Queens, man. Uh, he said Raza Moon uh, Night sold out in Royals uh, in ten minutes after he opened the doors on Wednesday. Like, it's so this hot book, hot book. Uh, and then uh, another hot book that was out. We're we done talking about this, guys. A shout out to Mike Morello, man, uh, uh, for doing that awesomeness. And guys, uh, check out the article, guys, because he has another. Other, he has some other honorable mentions. He calls it uh, worth a second look. Uh, there's some nice ones there. I think it's like six more of the covers. Going off of what I said on FOC, which you guys will see later, Moon Knight mm -hmm. is another book dealing with a psychiatrist. Obviously, this one is more tied to it because we all know what goes on with him, but. All these books right now dealing with all these superheroes going to see psychiatrists. Yeah, but you know what? Since you know we're talking about Moon Knight, how about that, man? Yeah, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I've discussed it on the Warriors show. We watched it live. You know what I mean? Um, uh, okay. the trailer. Uh, you know, which was pretty dope. Um, I, 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 I said my piece over there. I want to give y'all guys a chance to say about this, man. Uh, what y'all guys thought about the trailer? Are you excited for it or what? What's up? I'm excited for it. Okay. I mean, I mean, yeah, like Big time. that looks good. Yeah, if, if they play if they play into the multiple personalities things and and it's done right, like I mean Isaac's already doing uh, multiple fucking dialogues. You know he's he's talking in different dialects and everything else. That's gonna be interesting because the guy's a good actor. So yeah, he is. Yeah. I like uh, or, or I think I think uh, this whole thing with uh, Ethan yes. Hawke. I think he's gonna be two characters or a combination of a couple characters. I really, really? do. I, I yeah. I don't think he's just good if he is Arthur Harrow. I think he's gonna be. Sun King, or I think it's a long shot, but I think maybe he could be Drake. He'll, I think he'll be revealed to be somebody else, like at the last episode or something like that. Maybe I think I, working I for Marvel is bad voodoo, man. This is the second guy that died already. Yeah, another one, right? Yeah, yeah. Who was the yeah. first one? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ethan Hawke's rumored to be Dracula, isn't he? What? Who was he supposed to be? Ethan Hawke was rumored to be Dracula at one point. Well, no, he, I mean, people were speculating. Speculate, right. right. Well, it's rumor. Yeah. I still don't think. Oh, I no, think no, it, no. I'm yeah. not saying. I don't oh. think it can happen. I think it's a long shot that that would happen. I don't think it'll happen. But did you guys know that the guy, did you see the scene where he's beating up a guy, like on the floor? Yeah, what's yeah. Doom. No, so that's supposed to be Werewolf by Night? Is that what it was? That, that's what they're saying. It could be possibly. Could possibly be. And then I heard there was like a Doom reference in there somewhere. I didn't see that. I didn't the, uh, so when he's when he's driving, you know the part where he looks at the gun? He looks I at the gun. And when he's driving in the car, in the van, and he's looking at the gun, he drops it. Yeah, yeah. remember that. They zoom, they, if you zoom into the back of the wall, it says Vaughn, and then it looks like it's a D, and then the rest is covered up. Victor Von Doom. Damn, they teasing us, man. They yeah, teasing so, us. Yo, yeah, Moon, definitely, uh, 
nicely done. A Moon Knight 188 9.8 sold for $495. Damn. You know who's going to come out of this, though, right? Josh Grav, because I have about 20 no, copies. No. <laughs> you know who's going to come out of this? What? Mephisto. Mephisto. <laughs> genius. Genius. <laughs> Imagine. You know what? You know what? Dis- Disney Disney doesn't <laughs> Disney hasn't done us wrong yet. Well, yeah. You see I how mean, much that oh I'm sorry. No, no, no. I just say Disney hasn't done us wrong yet. So whether <laughs> I like the trailer or not, um I, I have confidence in this stuff. They'll, they'll do something good. Disney's Disney, was, Disney why is why fire right now. Four hundred dollars for a Sun King who's gonna be a one and done. I, I don't know, but that's how it is. Man. Don't that's say that till after right Saturday, now. so I can dump all these. Have things. you guys seen yeah. Darth Vader number one? All because of this black Chewbacca. Black Chewbacca. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that, that done, character is going to be more than a one and done. That one's going to stay around. You see how much the Gomez is going to stay you were... around for this episode, this show. Love and brother. That's it. Well, yeah. no, I think they think they're he's going to show up on Obi Wan. Uh, I think nobody's trying to go for the first appearance of Chewbacca. Nobody's uh, doing a haul video of like, oh, this is the first appearance of Chewbacca. Hey, Do Gomez. I... Hey, Go he stepped away. Oh, never mind. Sorry, dude. Hey, I, like, Gomez I, is I think he's going to show up on Boba Fett. I mean, on uh, Obi-Wan also, only because of the scar issue. He doesn't have the scar yet. No, yes, he does. But on the show, he doesn't have it yet. Yes, does he? he does. He does. Oh, so they'll, they'll go back and explain it. Yeah. Either way. I do like how they tied this uh, last episode into The Mandalorian, though. Yeah. That was a nice little cool tie-in. I, sorry, Joker. I know you didn't see it. Yeah. No, I, I, I seen this. I, ha- I haven't seen Peacemaker's new, new episode. Oh, That's what I, okay. I seen this yesterday. Yeah. Episode yeah. four dropped for Peacemaker? Yeah, it dropped yeah. today. I just oh, watched the watch Peacemaker. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're, so we're going to talk about it after this. But uh, yeah, man, Book of Boba Fett, man. I mean, have you have you been feeling A lot of people are not feeling this, man. But what yeah. do you think, man? Yeah. I like it, but there's, there's things that are off on it. Hey, real quick, before we go into this, Gomez, I know you have this book too, that Moon Knight one, uh, 188, 1 in 25. Yeah, people are asking like fourteen hundred dollars for that in a night. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah, book of Boba Fett. Yeah, like uh, I like it. Like I know it's really story driven, which I like. Not a lot of action, which I can understand why people. A lot of people don't. But you know, I was talking with Peanut about this too, and and some other people. There's just things in this show that don't that shouldn't be in there because they don't feel Star Wars. Like little things, like those stupid speeder bikes. Yep. Like they are yeah. so off, but they, they don't even look like right. Like whoever, whoever thought that was a good idea to put those into this show should be fired. Uh, like, you know, like when he goes into the, the shop to get her in this last yeah, episode, man, to get her like fired. little bionic implants done. Yeah. yeah. Like it looks like a tattoo yeah. artist. Like, yeah, it it's just, like little that's things what, like that. That's what it's supposed to be. I, I didn't have a problem with that because it just represents that even in the future, kids are, are trying to do something that's cutting edge. Like, you know, it was having to get tattoos, and then now everybody's got a full sleep. So these kids are getting bionics put into their body. I, I was I'm not talking I about that, but that. Those bikes were ridiculous. They were terrible. But I'm not talking about. I, I don't have a problem with the bionics getting bionics put in the body. That's fine. I'm talking about how they go into the the parlor and the guy who's doing it looks like a tattoo <laughs> artist. He's got like his eyebrow pierced and his nose pierced. Like right. that's the that's I, the vibe I, I guess they're trying I, to give I you. Like, but that's I that's like, like the... a t- that's what I'm trying to say. So where where well, our generation is now is doing tattoos in the future, they're doing bionics and it's it's through a shop. It's yeah, not well, the I like future, the fact though. that techno music is still in. What you mean it's it's galaxy not far, far it's a long time ago. Make me want to watch this galaxy far, far away. <laughs> Well, I'm you gonna, know, I'm gonna say this is why I don't come on. I'm going home. I, that, <laughs> going Damn it, Josh. <laughs> like, you ride it, you ride it, you uh, yeah, some people like saying they're sick of the planet. I'm sick of Tatooine, you know what I mean? So, uh, well, you're gonna get a lot more Tatooine, though. Get, you know what? For somebody like me that didn't know a lot about Boba Fett, this it's kind of interesting. I had no idea. Uh, of any of this stuff, if this is canon or not, I'm, I'm assuming all of this is canon. So all of this storyline, I had no idea. So I honestly, I, I just find it interesting. It is a little slow. Uh, I'll admit that it's a little slow, but I mean, I find it pretty interesting. So do I. Because I, the I whole thing like, with I, me I, I like is it. I never understood why Boba Fett was even popular in the first place. He literally had like two to three minutes of fame in the first three movies. You know what yeah. I mean? He ended up in the pit and he died. And then that's it. So I never understood why he was so popular. 
and he stayed popular all the way till now, 2022. You know, so because he was mysterious. You know, it's because they didn't because they didn't use him at all, and he was he was just cool looking for the time, and he he what I think he had eight lines of dialogue or something like that in the first trilogy. He was just mysterious. People just wanted to know who he was. Yeah. Same what's up to the people there, man. Uh, a couple of people there saying, uh, yeah, some stuff on the show is way off. It's uh, the yeah, wrong kind what, of vibe. A lot of people, parts. You know what, what's happened to us? Is, and, and think about it this way, right? When we started getting Star Wars again in the movies, everybody was crazed over it, right? Yeah. Because we have so many programs to watch now on Disney Plus and uh, with, with um, the Marvel series and the Star Wars series. We're super critics now. If this was the only show on earth that was on for Star Wars, we'd be, oh my God, this is great. This is yep. this and that. But because I we agree. have so many shows to pick from, we could be nitpicking. It's mm-hmm. the same thing with Marvel. Everybody nitpicks the shit out of Marvel. There mm-hmm. hasn't been really one bad, bad no. series that's been put out except for the Inhumans. Yeah, I, I I agree. I agree with what you said, bro. I agree with that. Uh let me see over here. Uh, this is Dark Horse Cannon. Uh, me hipster. I'm not feeling Boba Fett. Yeah, a lot of people, like I'm saying, a lot of people are not feeling it, but I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I enjoy it. I like it just fine. Like I just said, there's just little moments that just feel like it doesn't belong there. But it's not story-related per se. It's just things that don't belong in the Star Wars universe to me. It's just weird. Some weird. It's so funny. I asked my wife last night why she's not watching it, and she said because Boba Fett is ugly. Like, yeah, yeah. That's um, what you said. You said Boba Fett is ugly, and the reason you watch Mandalorian is because that wow. little thing was cool. Wow. No, I'm just saying that like, these little things actually make a difference. So. <laughs> it does. So, to a, a, a regular fan, it, yeah. it has to be eye appealing and everything else. Yeah, and that's why she watched Mandalorian because uh, Baby Yoda is super cute. Mm-hmm. So she watched mm-hmm. every episode. Yeah, like, like, okay, like another thing that didn't fit to me is that that little rat droid. That was just funny, though, right? But but what yeah. per like I don't understand the purpose that it served. It was it was funny, okay, but I don't know. Just and, <laughs> and oh, and the the guy who works for the mayor. There's just something off about him too. Yes, he's he's that he's that annoying it, cheesy guy. You, it, just, you, you just want to slap him. He's just out of place. Like uh it's I don't know, just bad casting or something. I don't know. Yeah, and my man Jersey to the base tend to what 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 Erod just said. Mando set the bar real high. That's what it is, you know. Uh, yeah, man. I thought it's. I think it's just fine. I think it's just fine. Uh, what Kenobi's gonna bring, we'll see. What other Star Wars shows is gonna well, bring? We got three more episodes left of Boba Fett, right? Yeah. See, I think it's seven, and seven Filoni. Four. I think Filoni directed the last episode. Mm. I see. I think Mandalorian, in terms of story, is weaker than Boba Fett. Like Boba Fett, to me, tells a tighter story. Mandalorian has good parts to it, sure, but Mandalorian felt like one-off shows, and then like maybe the beginning or the like the last eight minutes would tie into the bigger thing, kind of like how a serial TV s- series goes. Not, not to stay this on is- this long, but you know what I like a lot about Boba Fett is the fact that they took characters that were basically nobody knew nothing about them. You took the Tusken Raiders, you see mm-hmm. Anakin slaughter him, you see him in, in the original Star Wars, but you gave them a a, a culture you gave them you know yeah, a rank yeah. and everything else and structure and you know their, their family people it was interesting i i like yeah that. yeah that, that's what i liked about it too is because all of these people because i'm not a huge star wars guy where i read all the dark horse stuff and the books and stuff so me for me this is super interesting you know boba fett the tuscan guys all of this is what i don't get is i don't understand how hot people take power when they're just a bunch of slugs that move I, around like I, I never get that. Like it's they seem like a creature that anybody could just assassinate at any time really quickly. I like you the I, I, mean? I, I like the fact that they, they they you know where they at now with Boba Fett, how they t- tell you after Mandalorian where he's at, whatever the case is. But I also like the flashback, how he got out the pit, how how yeah. he came up and all that stuff. The backstory was awesome. It was it was good to me. I think this is pieced together right. Dude, I they think- gave him a rancor, bro. They gave him a rancor. How good was that? Yeah, you know, yeah, that's what I'm, yeah. I so, didn't like how they, like another thing that's off. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Danny Trejo, love him. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't belong here. No, not, doesn't belong here. Yeah. 
Bachete, yeah. yeah, he's not. He's yeah. Ca- Tatooine. Yeah, he's there's no Bachete Tatooine, son. You know, <laughs> nah, nah. Even Gomez isn't on Tatooine. How's he gonna have exactly? Come like on, that, man. Bro. No Mexicans in Tatooine, no. guys. No, right? it doesn't have to do with his. <laughs> I, I'm messing around. I'm messing yeah, around, yeah, guys. Yeah. I'm messing it has, around. You, it has to. You know what it is? Star Wars is one yeah, of those. Make the white guy nervous, bro. No, no. no. <laughs> Star Wars is one of those series to me where it's like it can't have like real famous actors in it. It, it kind of like throws it. You know, it, it's not like, oh, there's Danny Tro- Trejo playing a guy. It's like, oh, there's Danny Trejo. Like, it, it's, I don't know. I don't really know how to describe it. You, you kind of get what I mean, though. Yeah, I kind of get what you're saying. Yeah, but, I mean. It, it would have been funny if he did have a Mexican accent, though, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the whole transaction. Like, oh, Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> but, that's, but that's a good point that Jacob just brought up, which goes off of what Erod just said. It shows that that rancor, rancors are just misunderstood, and they and they do have a bond. It's not just yeah. it's a bad thing. Just like it's the Tuskens aren't bad. It's just yeah, you well, know what? I'm sure lions time. are really nice pussy cats too, bro. Well, but that's the way I'm saying. It's one. good story building off of stuff that were little tidbits in other movies. It's I kind of true. Like Tito saying, though, I mean, you got Robert Rodriguez doing these shows. You got to have Trey Trejo. Yeah, that, that's that's true. You know, because he yeah. follows him with everything he's in, everything he does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no idea, Josh. No idea. <laughs> no, no idea about what? I am. I'm, I'm assuming about the Mexicans. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Murph. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, I, I, like, like I said, man. A lot of people bashing or not even feeling Boba Fett. Maybe different pace. They, they feel like you know, from what he was doing on Mandalorian to what he's doing on his own show. Uh, not feeling it, but I, I'm digging it, man. I think this show's pretty dope. Mandalorian and this book, Boba Fett, it's two different shows. I'm wondering you know? if this goes past the first season or if it was only intended to ever be just one. I thought it was supposed to be only a one-season thing, wasn't it? Could be. Uh, I, I haven't heard any. Let's, let's see if it feeds right mini- back into the Mandalorian. Six comic book miniseries. That's all this is. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a one-off. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna go its own way or whatever. But either way, man, I'm digging it, man. Just keep on doing it. Just keep on doing. Rob Rodriguez is doing it. Just waiting for Doctor Afro. That's all they're doing. They just that's waiting. what it is. They're all like this, just waiting, waiting, waiting. She has to show up at the end. Yeah, she that's has all to. they're waiting for. Has they're to. just waiting for what this episode. No, season, at the end no. of the season. At the end it's of the season. Some way, nope, not happening. I'm just telling you, that's all. Why? Why you waiting. say no? Why you say? Why you so confident when you say no, though? You right? Just because they're gonna build her up so much. To, to, it's kind of like what they're doing now with Kanan. How long did it take before they even mm. build up to get into Kanan? Right? Mm. It took two seasons of True. Mandalorian to even get a hint that Kanan is coming. Do you think that they're just gonna go in the book of Boba Fett and take the biggest Star Wars book that's non-canon? You know, like a, a spin-off that came out. And just throw it out there like that. She's gonna. They did a Soka Tano pretty quick. I was about to say. I would say yes because just to keep it relevant. You know what I'm saying? You haven't even heard a casting notice. No, we haven't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, But you did because you got to remember they didn't. You're right. They did. They did. They didn't mention her by name, but like the the hints around it. Yeah. You are right. You are right. Stand I'm just saying, just people are just like fucking waiting. That's it. That's all they're waiting for. I mean, if, <laughs> if if before this show started, if I had to guess where she would maybe show up, I would say probably more likely Obi Wan. But, mm. and I still think it probably could be Obi Wan, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's at the end of this either. <laughs> Yo, just to let everybody know who's watching this video, read in the comments. If David says anything, please don't listen to it. All right. Un- unless he tells you which <laughs> variants to buy. Uh, well, he got oh, yeah. one right. He got one right. Come on. on I knew the guy for like over five years. He got <laughs> one right. I'm not going to give him credit for one book. Maybe two. Maybe two. I'll give him credit on that one. He called that one like a month yeah, out. Yeah, I least. know, man. I should have bought that stupid daredevil. Oh, yeah. Fuck, I should have bought that. Look, my man said, we, get, we, got, we got Luke and Mandalorian. We're getting Han and Boba Fett. You know, <laughs> That's Murph spec. There you go. Uh, but yeah, man. Let's move on, man. Let's move on. Uh, I know uh, Eva was talking a little bit about this uh, before, before we mentioned that. But yeah, Peacemaker, man. Peacemaker uh, is a show that's on HBO Max. Uh, we talked about this before, uh, me and Josh. We know exactly. I, I, I mean, I know exactly what the show was going to be, and it is. What the, we know, we knew it was going to be. You? Yeah, we did. Way before. We're like, how, what kind of show it was going to be and stuff oh, like that. Oh, yeah. Um, I got it. Was, I got it. It's 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 a fun show, it's a funny yeah. show, and this literally picks up after Suicide Squad. Uh, y'all guys been watching everybody on here? 
No. This, no. this is all I got to say, man. No. This is literally the best superhero show that's been on in a while. I'm talking against Disney Plus and everything. <clears throat> wow. Literally one of the best, if not the best TV show. And you know what pisses me off is that this goes to show how much power Disney and Marvel has because none of these books are doing anything. I mean, there's some stuff. I think uh, Erod mentioned it on a uh, off air or something, but they were mentioning like Batmite. Um, yeah. His mm -hmm. father is the the, the 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 White Dragon, King Dragon, yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah, White so Dragon. Su Suicide White Squad number four. You can still pick that up for eight bucks. All right. Mm -hmm. um, his book it, it's pretty ancient, so of course it's gonna go for some money. He, he's not like a new character. He's literally like a golden age, I think. Golden age, silver age character. Yeah, it's, 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 but his nothing is happening with this at all. It's mm -hmm. literally like I don't know if you ever watch this, but it's the best fucking thing on right now. It, and crazy. nothing, like nothing. This goes to show the market is so Marvel Disney focused. And like it, it's crazy, bro. Like all of these people that's on this show, another vigilante. Okay, if this was Marvel, Vigilante number one would be a hot fucking book. Yeah. It would be right. a hot, hot book. I'm well, talking like big time book right now. People going crazy. Nobody well, first of all, well, but first you know of all, that vigilante well, book should have been hot when Manny ripped the book and shit on you know live or whatever, you know. But <laughs> <laughs> that's another story. Uh but yeah, man, um, this Peacemaker show is pretty fucking good. It's, I mean, the three episodes I see, I didn't see the one that dropped today. I missed yeah. that one. We, we could talk about it if y'all seen it or whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, because I'm gonna see it regardless. Um, but this this is a fucking good show. It's a fun show. It picks up literally, like I said, after you know. Uh, 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 you know, Suicide Squad and all that stuff. They mentioned, you know, what was going you on. Know, in that so movie. Mike, I'm, I'm an anti Cena guy. I'm not a fan of his. Me neither. Me neither. But I liked him and his banter in Suicide Squad, and they took that and added to it now. Yeah. yeah. He's really fucking funny, man. Some of the stupid shit that comes out of his mouth. Yeah. The show's fun. It's a it fun is. show. It I tell you been. what, Vince put me up on it the other day, and he, he's right because like uh, HBO Max is running this right now, right? Mm -hmm. If you go under yeah. the HBO Max uh, DC series, you're gonna see some shows. Like I just started watching Star Girl. Good show. That, that's good. Yeah. That that was really good. You yeah. know. And the I Superman mean, one, what's that? Um, Lois and Clark or whatever it is, the Superman ones. Yeah. That's really good too. Yeah, Superman and Lois or something like Superman that. Superman and Lois. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're, they're putting out some good stuff. Yeah, I, I, you know what? So, what what is it that that is not pushing up DC? What is it? They Everybody's all about the universe. They're oh, whatever that, that it's, is. It's it's, it's one point. off movies. Nothing Good ties point. in. I mean, this is tied into it, but all their movies when they try and they rushed everything initially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now no, but I mean, design. like, look at look at Darth Vader number one. Everybody went nuts because that black gorilla just ended up right in a like a a little scene, and then he ends up in the next episode, you know, and he fights some people in the bar. And all of a sudden, his book is freaking crazy. That book is like stupid nuts. And here's Peacemaker with Vigilante, Peacemaker, all these uh, all these appearances, right? And nobody, like these books, nobody cares. Yeah. I mean, I, I think this happens to all the, I don't know. Where's the Stargirl book at? Where's the Batgirls books at? But, you know? Dude, that, and that Stars and Stripes book, it peaked a while ago when the series was going to start, but it's really nothing. Supposedly, and HBO is doing a punchline. They're going to really? do a whole thing on Punchline. Yeah, that's like the, the next rumor is that Punchline is like the next thing that's supposed to end up. And, and you, you, you had the Justice Society of America in there. You had a whole bunch of different things in that Stargirl series that yeah. you never really saw a, a pop for it, you know? No. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But me and Biggs, like, me and Biggs was talking, <laughs> and, and we, I honestly believe that this year is going to be uh, DC's year, man, uh, with all these good movies coming out. You got Black Adam. You got the Batman coming out. Those are good movies. Well, we got to uh, see how, what, what, what makes Black Adam good. So we, we really don't know anything about it yet. Yeah. I, see, see, I mean, I don't know. I have, I have high hopes of what right, it's that's because that's your guy. You, you're that's my guy. You're, a, you're a big fan. I'm, I'm loaded. I'm loaded over here, waiting oh, for that shit to drop. Two nine eight, two nine six is like I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but but see, yeah. now the Batman looks crazy. That that movie's gonna blow it up. I mean, you also have the Flash that's coming out. I can't stand that guy. I can't either. But you got I Michael mean, King coming back, bro. You got Michael King coming back. That, those are gonna be tidbits. 
He's yeah. won the movie, but I still got to deal with Ezra Miller for two hours. I know. <laughs> that guy is not Barry Allen. I just want to slap him silly. You know, no way. Yeah, I, I don't know. But yeah, man, but, but it, at the same time. Run, you know the run time on Batman? Her almost yeah, three hours. Like three hours. Two hours and 55 minutes or something like that? I yeah. love it. I hope Twilight that hours. Hurt it. That should be good, though. <laughs> And you know what? If they keep Twilight us House. involved, they keep you know, like Lord of the Rings, it's like a long ass movie, but it keeps you, you know, involved and in paying attention. It goes fast. Like it, it, it'll, it'll, yeah, it won't go fast, but you'll stay. So as long as they do that for Batman, well, it's, you know it's, it's cut, on one good. character. <laughs> it's they, it's True. focusing on one character, and you know what? DC does a really good job when it focuses on one character. It's the yeah. group stuff that they seem to have a little issue with. Well, because they rushed it all. They, they put everything into one movie. They didn't story build. That was their problem. Yeah. But they, DC's done pretty well. The last Joker movie was awesome. Uh, Wonder Wonder really Woman. Like, well, not the last yeah, but, one. But, but, but these are one. Standalone, though. Those are stand. These, they, they, they're, not, they're not like an MCU type movie. It's not the universe. It's just well, you, like you had, you had worlds. Success, you had success with the first Wonder Woman movie, right? That was yeah. a really yeah. good movie. What, what I'm saying is when they do one person focus... The right. movie's but the second made. movie was trash. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so now we just got to yeah. see what happens with Aquaman when yeah. they do the second Aquaman. If they they could it could touch the success because Aquaman was a good movie also. Yeah, it was. It was. I like Aquaman. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like about Man Universe X. Nobody knew uh, who Peacemaker was, but uh, before Suicide Squad and his books went up because they were pumped. Uh, after the show, they will plum plummet, I guess. Yeah, but that uh, because happens like to a said. lot of books, though. That yeah, even Marvel, even Marvel of... too. Yeah, yeah, look at look at that, look that at uh, look at Iron Man fifty five. Iron Man fifty five, not as much as what it was when. Oh, you no, know, it's back up again. It's, back it's going up, back yeah. up. Oh, well, ah, it's, shit. It's, it's it's back up because of Eros. Well, yeah, I was gonna say because uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. But yeah, same Marvel, same way. It goes up and down too. Oh, it's all, it's everything like that. I mean, yeah. look at like I said before, look at a villain. A, a, unless it's like a green goblin or a villain, most villains when they appear, they st- they spike up and then it, it drops. Oh my god! Die. Remember mm. what happened to Apocalypse? Right. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, poor eyes. That's uh, another book too. Because it's not his fault. You yeah. you made a seven uh, six foot tall Apocalypse. What do you expect? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> and um, the the, the see, he, I don't even know if he was six feet. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, like five nine, five that. nine above. <laughs> Yeah, work boots uh, on him, so I made him six foot. He was tall for back in those yeah. days. Yeah. But definitely good, good show, guys. Uh, yeah, DC also has other shows. Uh, I, I was thinking Doom Patrol. If y'all not watching Doom Patrol, that's a crazy good show. Uh, you know, it's like a show you like if you. It's like yeah, it's like it's like you're on shrooms type shit. That's the type of show that that's what it is. Uh, uh you got the Titans. Titans is another great show that's on on HBO Max. Uh, for DC. Uh, you got the Batgirl uh, coming out. Uh, we talked about that on on New York Warriors on on Monday or Tuesday. Was it Monday or Tuesday? I forgot. But yeah, we talked about that. That one looked good too. You saw her new costume. Well, well you saw the costume. Like you said, Mike, that's that's a bad toss costume, right? There, yeah, that, that, I like that. Yeah, that costume is awesome, man. Uh, looks looks right to the teeth, right on point. Hopefully, she got the boots. You know, the little construction boots or whatever that on on, on that. Uh, what's going on, man? What's going on? Um, on King yeah, Swag. Yo, Mike. You that know what's funny though? <laughs> I, I'm gonna say it on air, right? Yeah. Apocalypse is supposed to be like what five hundred thousand years old. Yeah, whatever, right? And he still looks younger than Murph. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Murph. yeah. exactly. <laughs> Yo, yeah, guys, if you don't know how Murph looks, go go to his IG. You'll just look how it looks, man. Murph looks yeah. like he's 105. Yeah, he's Murph, the... How old are you? 44. He's only 22. He's like 30. He's like 33 years old. Like he's like Benjamin Button, bro. It's <laughs> <Just> reverse. <laughs> Oh shit, yo. He said, Wow. <laughs> yo, Murph, it's all love, bro. It's all love. Uh, what's going on, Jose, man? Shout out to you. Uh, but yeah, guys, man, that's enough about Peacemaker, man. Definitely good show. I I recommend it. If you're not sure about DC shows and stuff like that, uh, go check out Titans, go check out Doom Patrol. You know, uh even though what is it, Young Justice, the, the animated one, that's dope too. That's on uh, HBO Max. Um <laughs> Murph look like Gandalf. And double and double <laughs> had a baby. Oh shit, yo! It's like we're gonna go. We're gonna go to um the little giant show. We're gonna uh, be like, you shall not pass. Is he? Is he going? Oh, Murph's going. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yo, we gotta get Murph come to the King Kong show. How about that? That'd yeah. Right. He should yeah. come on. Uh, Doma uh, got double headers for you. Hmm. Oh, there you go, man. Double headed dildos. Oh, there, oh, you, there go. you go. Oh shit. Hey, babe. 
I'll let you know in a real quick. <laughs> we got to check out the website. We're going to check out the website real quick together. Oh, yeah. shit, man. Uh, Star Girl is cool. Yeah. All right, no doubt, my friend. As long as you know, we just fuck around, man. Uh, so we're going to move on, man. We're going to talk about these books, Sammy and me. And uh, actually, Doom um, started this right here. We mentioned some of these covers, too. Uh, we showed off some of these covers uh, throughout our shows. Uh, but yeah, this is something that Doom wanted to talk about. Take it away, Doom. Is the Turtles one in here? Yeah. Mm. So anyway, basically, mm. uh, I don't even know how this came up. I think this was like behind the scenes. I remember how it came up. On one of the... Yeah. So anyway, Peanut, uh, we were talking you, about... Uh, you really we do? About... I really do. How it came up? Um. So when we were talking about the, the New 52 variants... Um, ah, yes, yes, yes. One of the uh, covers set that off. Go ahead, Doom. Okay. No, 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 no. So basically, long story short, we were talking about something back in the day. And then these, these, uh, we were talking about, um, I guess, music comic covers that as, as, uh, as Joker has it labeled here. Anyway, so I was talking about these IDW. And then I, I figured it was so short that I wanted to add the Marvel one. So there's a Marvel rock and roll and then there's these idw rock and roll now i'll be honest with you a lot of these idw ones that we're about to show are either a super expensive or really hard to find mm -hmm. like it, they're not the easiest stuff but that's totally up my my alley and that, that's the kind of stuff i like and that's the kind of stuff i like to talk about so we're going to be showing you guys hopefully some stuff and you know if you got them awesome congratulations if not maybe something you can add to your collection a lot of times when we do these we just like to highlight things that maybe people aren't talking about. Everybody's so focused on one side. So you know what? Uh, especially if you're a variant collector, if you're a music guy, you'll like some of these too. So what's the first one we got? Yeah, the first, uh, you know, I, I, mean, I labeled it this way because, you know, I don't want to get confused with the hip hop covers too. You know what I mean? Because uh, Yeah. So, so we're not doing any hip hop covers. No. We're doing no. strictly rock and roll. I think IDW called it the, what's it called? I don't know what rock they called it. Poster? It could, oh. could be. It could be. I think it was called the Rock and Roll Poster Variants. And yeah. they did a very small amount of these. And uh, when you see them, yeah, here we go. What the fuck is music covers? You don't know what the... Damn, they don't show you in Korea? Come on. They don't have music in Korea? Damn, bro. Come on, David. Yeah, <laughs> You're going to like a lot of these if you haven't seen them. Yeah. Uh, we're going to start off. Usually, I show off the comic first, and it shows off what the homages. But this time around, I'm going with it, you know, the, what the source is, and then, you know, the, the books after. Um, here we have uh, Jimi Hendrix starting off with this one here. Yeah. So we're starting off with the Jimi Hendrix. I don't think this is an – is this an album? I it's, it, say... it, it was a, it wasn't a cover uh, for one of his uh, essential oh, like his hits. Yeah, it's an good. essential. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. So this was the Jimi Hendrix essential. Which is kind of sad because honestly, Jimi Hendrix was only, oh gosh, from my understanding, he he was he was popular for a very short amount of time. Mm -hmm. But during that small amount of time, he's put such a hit on yeah. the music industry that it lasted all the way to now. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? They they consider this guy like one of the best, um, but he died at a very young age. So this is the Jimi Hendrix one, uh, the concert poster. Maybe I don't know what it is, but the one that. They did an homage to this one was the uh, right here, boom, boom. So this is Cobra Nineteen. This is the homage to that Jimi Hendrix. This bad boy is super hard to find. They, basically, almost all of these IDWs are kind of ghost books. Yeah. Is that like um, a one in ten? Here's the thing, though: not a lot of places ordered um, the amount to get these qualifiers. Yeah. So these books, either A, super hard to find, or when you find them, like people are asking crazy money. I don't even know what people are asking for this book. Luckily for myself, this is one book that I kind of have in my collection, but it's just one of those. It's just crazy. First of all, you got the Baroness, which is already popular mm -hmm. when it comes to Cobra covers and people trying to collect Cobra. They, Baroness is one of those characters that always seem to go for a lot of money. Mm -hmm. But then you add this whole homage to it, and then you also add the fact that it's super hard to find. It's just one of those books that's really crazy. Yeah, yeah this is this is a book definitely hard to find, man. I, I was yeah, he was only twenty seven, exactly. I didn't even know about this book. Oh yeah, yeah. this is that an book, IDW book. Oh, it's an IDW. Yeah. It's an IDW, 
in the back, I forget what it says. I don't know if it says concert poster or post a rock cover poster. It was a small that, that's what it, that's what it's made like. You see the background, those were those velvet posters. Yeah, I know you told me the um the black the black light posters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what that is. Bro, this mm -hmm. book is crazy. But this is the out of all the books we're about to show for the IDW, this is actually the biggest one. What's yeah. that book from? Um, uh, do you know? Uh raw? Yeah, raw. Uh, maybe raw six, seven hundred. Wow, that much. Raw. Huh? I wow. think raw. Um, you can you can if people in the chat want to correct me, they can go ahead. If somebody's looking on eBay right now. By all means, please do. Uh, if you even find this, I, I can, I can um, look at it. Yeah, yeah but it, it's just one of those books that's like maybe four or five hundred raw. Uh, it's it's a fucking crazy book. Uh, Cobra nineteen variant. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know. It's not. Yeah. It's not an easy book to find. Was you it a ratio? Was it a ratio variant or, or just? Yeah. So so okay. So nine point eight. Somebody wants three thousand for it. Yeah. Nine point eight. But that's asking though. Um, the last couple that sold, I'm not too sure if anybody listed any that sold. Um, so somebody bought a 9.4 for 800 bucks. Damn. That slapped. Yeah. Was that a ratio or? Yeah, it was. These are all ratios that the, okay. the comic shop had to order. And I think this was, One this was ten. during that prime time. So when it comes to variants, there, there seems to be a year that everybody goes crazy for and that's 2012. 2012 yeah. was the year when variance was actually variance like they actually meant something and um yeah so what is this cgc 9.4 800 bucks three thousand yep. dollars for 9.8 yeah this, this is a crazy ass book that's the, that's the only one i see listed it, those this book is really hard to find it is. it's, it's a one super hard ratio it's it's a one in ten, yeah. These, these things, but the thing about it is, not a lot of places order ten yeah, copies, correct? Because IDW was Thanks for just, Googling. the whole independent stuff was just not really there at that time. Uh, what is the next one we have? Uh, next one we got here is the you know based off the Misfits. Misfits. Okay, so uh, this is not basically an album. They use this skull on their album covers on some other covers, but you know. Uh, we do have a comic book cover that um, homages this right and here. And you know this. what? I think it's so awesome, but it really doesn't go for that much. So this one really doesn't go for that much. This one you can get straight off of eBay. But again, it's not a cheap book. So this is also part of that collection that they call the rock <laughs> yeah. covers and all that stuff. Um, You're welcome. A welcome joke. <laughs> <laughs> so this one homages the, 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 the Misfits poster that we just showed. And this one is, I think it's, yeah, it's also number 19. A lot of these actually, I think, were number nineteen, right? You think so? Good luck getting that in a nine eight. Yeah, I know. With that black oh, on yeah. that cover, this is not not just ticks, but we're talking about um, color rubs. We're talking about just basically anything and everything that could happen to uh, a black covered comic. Mm -hmm. It's a misfit. But this book is this book is fire, and then this one homages the misfits. Yes. Yeah. Basically, right there. Bam. Good. Which uh, you know, I, I I knew about this book, but I never knew it just didn't click to me until Doom told me about that. So yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're moving on from GI Joe to you know we got the uh, a book that homages. This I'm is one sure. of my favorites. The when we see the homage of this, it's yeah. actually one of my favorites. But of course, the sergeant. Yeah, here we go. So you got the Transformers. You mm -hmm. got homaging the uh, what is that? Sergeant, sergeant Pepper. Yeah, the Sergeant Pepper. <laughs> um, again, not an easy book to find. Hard to find them in the back issue bins. It's basically all about eBay. If you do find these, though, in back issues, huge congratulations. These books, again, I they go for a lot of money. Yeah. Um, the thing about it, you got a lot of things going for it, right? For, first of all, you got Transformers. There's a lot of collectors. I was just on Whatnot this week, and I, this is the first week I actually spent a lot of quality time on Whatnot. And really? People are asking for like G.I. Huh? Joe, Transformers, <laughs> and all of this stuff. And um, you can tell that people are still wanting these books. But then when you have this particular book, and again, it's a one in 10, but it's just really hard to find these books. And yes, um, the ratio. trust me, this homage is just really killer. I absolutely love this one. Do you have it? This one I should have, but not with me now. It's mm. all good, man. But uh, the definitely guys. I remember when I first heard about these, I wanted to collect all of them. So I I, I kind of made it a point. One of the books you, everybody knows about, we'll get to it when we see it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we're gonna move on from there to Purple Rain. Everybody knows about this, man. Um, okay. So yeah, so this book, and when we see the book that homages this, everybody knows that book. 
but mm. they don't know that this the, the the book that homage this one was actually part of that set everybody was so focused on and you know what this particular book has been homage quite a bit of time this particular yes. poster sorry yeah has been homage by um i think there is a new one that came out i don't know which ones you have this one right here okay the so one. everybody knows about this yeah. Everybody knows this Snake Eyes homage. Everybody knows that this is a big boy book. Everybody knows that this goes for money. But what a lot of people didn't know is that this was part of that IDW, uh, I think it's called Rock Album Cover Variant set. Mm-hmm. So if people would have paid a little bit more attention and try to figure out what set this was of, they would have seen all those other books. But everybody knows this one goes for like a lot. Like this one is mm-hmm. pretty crazy. This is already pretty popular already. Uh, this is what Doom has in his collection. Yeah, David is good. Okay, yeah, it's a good well, color. Yeah, David. I mean, well, because me and David was trying to collect these back in the day, so, so he knew mm-hmm. about these. It's just something that came up as I like, you know what? I must well talk about it. Real quick. I mean, yeah, a lot of people don't know about these. You know, um, uh, let me see. Uh, we're moving. Oh, yeah, another one. I, I put this one in. I know he, Doom is talking about IDW, but at the same time, I just had to throw it in. This has been homage to uh. Uh, with Batgirl, uh, they also did an homage it's opposite, uh, not opposite, but uh, they had Storm Shadow recently. Right? I think it's a Tyler Storm Kirkland. Storm Shadow, yeah. Storm Shadow did a Storm Purple Shadow. Rain. You're right. They uh, just, and, uh, J. Scott Campbell just did one too for Black Cat and Mary Jane. Yes, I seen that one too. Uh, did I see that one? I don't think I seen that one. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah I threw that one. See, baby. Uh, so is, the, is that the outfit that you're saying that they're gonna come out with with this mm, new Batman? Yeah, kind of see us, yes, but different. Not okay. not as purple, rain. not as yeah. purple. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're gonna uh, go move on to David Bowie, the rise and fall of Ziggy, the um Stardust. Uh, this right here, uh, the book, the book, another Transformer book is here. Transformers. What's Kanye well. West doing on that sign? <laughs> Wait, what do you see, man? That's how Kanye. Oh, K West. I see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got Cybertron and the and the and the C Cybertron. 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 <laughs> Okay. On the top one, yeah. Again, uh, this one's a little easier. This one's not as crazy, uh, but this is this is just one of the books that's part of the set. So if you're one of those people that like to collect the set, like to have everything all together, this is definitely one of them. So I just wanted to make sure that people knew Who's about that RC. I'm sorry, say that again, of... Josh. Who is that? RC. I think that's RC. Yeah, look like him. No, well, RC is a her, but okay. Well, whatever. It, it's a robot, actually. Yeah. What's what's your, <laughs> what's, what's your pronouns? Yeah, him, he, it. The, yeah. the, the pronouns. You gotta use the correct pronouns, all right, yeah, Josh. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, the next book we got here. What well, next one we're doing? Uh, so is, believe it or not, what this one homages is actually the hardest one to find out of all of them. That's right. Really? It, yeah. So this one is actually the the lowest printed wow. run out of all of them. And it's only because of the book that this is attached to. Yeah, this one. Right Basically, I'm, nobody bought. <laughs> actually, oh, wow. honestly speaking, wow. don't do I, I, I've never seen this book. You're right. You're right. Okay. Yeah. So it's the kind, reason it's is kind of because the picture is so, like, you know, the, the rush picture is so wide that you can miss the, the, the reference to it. See what I mean? It's, it's yeah. a very loose, very loose homage. Loose interpretation, right? Yeah. Yeah. But so because, so Transformers and G.I. Joe has always been popular. And even when they weren't popular, they were still way more popular than Ghostbusters. So for a comic shop to order 10 issues you know, of Ghostbusters, it's going to be super rare. So believe it or not, this one is actually the hardest one to find out of all of them. Now, it's not the most expensive. The Baroness one that you first shown, yeah. it's definitely that one and the Snake Eyes, the Purple Rain. Those two is definitely the cream of the crop. Uh, the Transformers uh, Sergeant Pepper one, that's also crazy up there. But this one, believe it or not, is actually the hardest one to find out of all of them. And it's only because uh, no one's ordering 10 issues of Ghostbusters. And, uh, yeah, it's a very loose homage of the, um, the, the one that you just showed for Rush. And yeah. this is actually one that I don't have. Mm-hmm. I actually never bothered to even get it because I didn't even like the cover. <laughs> I kind of, kind of want. This I love now. the cover. Uh, yeah. I think Did that's you? awesome with the two yeah. pictures from Ghostbusters too, the Vigo and mm-hmm. the, uh, yeah, and then what it turns into afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is the only one that I never bothered to get out of the whole set. This is the only one. So, um, but lo and behold, it's actually the one that's the, the hardest, hardest one. To find. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're gonna move on, man. Uh, 
you know, uh, to Blondie. And this is, uh, we're moving on from IDW now. We're going to Marvel, guys. Uh, you know, uh, this is one right here. Because uh, yeah. what is it? Marvel did a rock and roll. So what happened somewhere. is everybody was so focused on the hip hop variants. And they did really well. I mean, there yeah. was, during the COVID time, people were spending crazy money on these hip hop variants. Especially, I think, um, what was it? Like the Miles one, which was... Um, Oh, what is his name? Anyway. Nas. It was Nas, Nas and Nas. Thank you. Yeah. There was a Nas one, that one, and there was a couple other ones that did really The DMX well. cover. The, the DMX, yeah, well, because he passed was, away and whatever. Yeah. But so um, there was a bunch of rock and roll ones that no one pays attention to. And honestly, these don't go for much. So this is just kind of us just letting you guys know about these books. out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but so this is the Blondie, yeah. and the one that homages this was the, uh, was it an X-Men book or something? Yeah, it was X-Men. It, it, you know, that you put the point of this out, and, you know, I, I like Blondie. I, I, I like, I'm a big punk, nine, nine, 70s punk. I love all that stuff back then. And oh, to know really? that this, I didn't even know this book right here, X-Men yeah. Blue, homage yeah, that. Yeah, X-Men wow, Blue number cool. 11. So this is just an homage of the Blondie that we just showed. Again, it's not an expensive book. Not a lot of these actually really go. There might be one, and we'll, I'll tell you when we see it. But mm -hmm. really, uh, these are pretty easy to find. And you might even find these in the back issues. So I wouldn't, wouldn't, I really wouldn't rush over to eBay. Mm -hmm. I think it's one of those you go to your LCSs. And if you're interested in this, I would give your LCS a real quick try. Because these don't really go for that much. I just wanted to add these because I figured the IDW was just a small part. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we got for the next one uh, next one we're doing Guns N' Roses here guys this is actually of one of my favorite so yeah. when I found this one out that they did the Guns N' Roses I thought this was pretty awesome this is the Inhumans one right yes sir there you go I think this was pretty badass yeah. I really like this I really think this is dope again everybody was so focused on the hip hop variants no one really cared about the rock and roll variants that Marvel mm -hmm. did and I think it probably showed in the sales because they stopped making a lot of these so again, for variant collectors and for people who like to collect books that really aren't that much, these possibly down the future could go for a lot, uh, especially if anything happens to Axel Rose or any of the members and stuff like that. But I really like this one. I thought this one's pretty dope. Yeah, I'm much on this one. It's pretty badass. Uh, next up, we got Queen. Queen, News uh, of the World. Yeah, so this one, uh, this is a Queen one, um, you know. And then there you go. So this is another X-Men one. This is their world. Um, it just, again, just homage the queen that we just showed. Um, I guess it's okay. It, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah we'll move it, on. It's all right. I just <laughs> wanted to show the, you know, what it homaged and stuff like that. Mm, yeah. This is definitely one of my favorite ones. Yeah. So Elvis Presley, this is his first debut album, mm -hmm. right? This is his very first debut. And it's actually been homaged by a lot of people, but most uh, more popularly, it was homaged by the, the, the Clash. So the Clash did this one, and it homaged the Elvis one. But what Marvel did is they did a really cool Thor one that actually homaged the Clash, which actually homaged Elvis. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is Mighty Thor number 23. This cover is dope. I really like this one. I like that too. Yeah. yeah. This is a pretty bad. Mm -hmm. And again, it's one of those. doesn't go for much. It's just one of those if you're just trying to complete a set, trying to find some stuff. Yeah, this was pretty dope. I really like this. And with, you know, Thor being um, coming up soon, who knows? This book might go up. You never know. I mean. Uh, are you are an Elvis fan? Am I an Elvis guy? Yes. Why, what's up? I, I, like well, some no, I, I was going to ask, if Elvis was so great, why is he buried in his backyard like a hamster? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you keep the great people man you keep them close to your yes, see, close to the home man <laughs> I, 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 I don't like how Elvis hand. went out though wasn't he eating like cheeseburgers and snorting like heroin yeah, they, didn't, didn't he die on the on the boat the toilet that's what toilet. I heard he died yeah. on the toilet yeah, he, 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 he didn't he didn't go out very uh celeb no, well, maybe he no, did no. heroic or Whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, him. He didn't go out very rock and roll, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, maybe he did. The blaze of heroin, know. you know. He, he yeah. went out on the john. Yeah, yo, he must have ate some tacos, and that shit was a little too tough for him. <laughs> and, you know. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, definitely, man. Uh, next book, and I think the last, yes, the last homage. That's a little oh. blurry, a little wee wee. You know, he's well, believe it or not, this actually has been homaged by a lot of comics. Yeah, but um, we only have three covers that are, you know. To so talk we have about three, here. and it just so happened that one is a Marvel and one is the one of the IDWs. So again, this is the IDW TMNT. This is again part of that set that we were talking about. Mm -hmm. um, 
sorry if I forgot what that set was called, Rock and Roll Poster, Rock and Roll Collection. But so this is a TMT one that homage that. And then actually Marvel also homage this with... Um, well, actually, oh, well before we get to that, that, go ahead, Joker. Yeah, well, I just had to put this up. This is a recent uh, cover that came out a couple of weeks ago. I'm not sure. Uh, for Evil Ernie issue two, uh, so I, I came in just in time when Doom hit me up with this. I was like, I might as well just add that there. Uh, for that, I just saw this today in a reorder box. We just got in. There you go. Put it. Put it on my pile, bro. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> then you got this right here. Go ahead. Yeah, and this one belongs to the Marvel's um rock and roll collection. So again, just homaging the Nirvana cover, which is a pretty. Highly homage cover. The Department general. of Truth just dropped one on those too. Remember? Yeah. Yes. Which was uh, a, a, an exclusive for the cons. It was really nice. Are you talking about the Chronic one? The Chronic. No, 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 not the Chronic one. No. They, did, they did the Nirvana. They um. This one. Oh, they did. Yeah. yeah. So you you know when I did this and uh, that this is the last book when when yeah. we did this I was all like I would love if Gomez would like to do like you know the Ice Cream Man or some of the horror. Like oh, homages yeah. that they did, like I don't know if Gomez, if you have time. To, I, I know you're a busy guy. You work at a lot of places. Well, I just but, posted one on IG today. Yeah, if like I would swear, I would love to see Gomez do like one where he does because I swear, Ice Cream Man and a lot of the horror stuff that he knows, they homage a lot of posters and horror stuff. And um, but this is yeah, just the, the, the rock Ice and Cream roll Man one. does a lot. Yeah, I've seen first that might be a nice little segment we can work on too, man. Oh, uh, we'll see, but yeah, yeah man, I, that... I got some other stuff we could talk about. I already talked to you about it, yeah. you know, just stuff for us to put down the pipeline. Yeah, yeah I yeah. think uh, one of them was like uh, first origin or first cover appearances, you know, and uh, just kind of stuff for people to know about. Uh, guys, stay tuned. Deadpool homage too. That's right. Yeah, Deadpool did homage it. I forgot about that one too. Forgot that yeah. too. Yeah. Talking about that, a lot of those Deadpools. I forgot what it is. What running was? He did a lot of those homages too. He did a Scarface homage. He did Jaws. Yeah. And all stuff. yeah. So that, those are those. That, that's that's a good one. That's a good one. I forgot about those. What's going on, Big Remo? Um, thanks for stopping by, man. Uh, but yeah, guys, man. Uh, we've got a nice little giveaway from Atix Comics, man. Uh, you want to take care of that now? Yeah. This hold on, real quick. All right, well, while well, you do that, I'll, I'll talk to the people, man. Uh, so again, guys, um, shout out to Doom for setting this up, man. Uh, nice little new shop, uh, uh you know, online shop. Uh, you get you got some back issues. Got just got to look through the inventory. Um, look, look, you know what they got there. Definitely, um, have new current issues with, uh, with this. Uh, here you got a uh, fifteen percent off code with, with us. Get an EMW fifteen, guys. Uh, use that on your checkout, man. You get fifteen percent off your 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 purchase. Uh, which is pretty dope, Doom set up. Um, and they give us some stuff to give away for for you guys. Yeah, so I'll send this out. Um, guy, US only, guys. Remember, yeah, US I'll only. I'll send this right? out to US only. I don't know. You guys want to do like a number? Uh, sure, yeah. I guess. Yeah, I'll put the that. number in the chat real quick. Unless Josh got a question. You got a question, Josh? No, but you know what? I always think of questions when I'm at work and I never remember them. Write them down. Oh, Take a note. Oh, I know. Mark with a mouth. Right. That's what it is. Well, in the private chat, I put the number just so you guys know. Okay, so, got it. Go. Um, all right, so the, the giveaway will be these two things that Addicts Comic gave us. Uh, the first one, it's nothing crazy, but it's kind of cool. Um, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to highlight you, bro. My bad. Like bro. Oh. So go. the first one is the deceased trade nice. paper guy. Nice. So, a good story. Yeah, so you get the, uh, I don't know what. Is this the whole thing? Yeah, the whole first volume. Yeah, it's the whole thing. The whole first volume. There you go. So you get this from Addicts. And then they uh, threw this in as well. Just like a cool little. Oh, nice. Little, the uh, Resurrection and stuff. Resurrection like cover. Love that yeah. cover. So uh, I don't know. Maybe we can make a line. People just. It's a number between right 1 there. and 21. Yeah. What is that? You're right. That's an homage. That's an homage to Wolverine. Yeah. That, that's Adam Kubert. All right. Let me just drop the line there, bro. And, before. Um, you can hit me up on IG. Uh, same name, the Doom 143, minus the AKA, the professional. Right, there uh, you go, good. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's just, a little, that's just a little shout out to Thoreau. So, uh, uh, number yeah, between, one through what? One through 21. One through 21. There you go, guys. Yeah, and right. I, I dropped the number in the private chat. Mm -hmm. got it, got it. Whoever is the winner, just hit me up on right, yeah, it. Uh, Joe 47771. Right, so 
Yeah, he's on IG. Yo, uh, Joey Bags, man, hit up the Doom on hey, IG, Joey man. Bag of donuts, hit me up on IG. Show us yes, yes. right there. <laughs> nice win there, man. He, the number was uh, let me just put that up there. The number was twelve. Don't say, yeah, don't say. <laughs> don't say, Gabbana. Uh, so yeah, man. Shout out again to Atix Comics for that, guys. Uh, again, guys, use the EMW15 code, guys. Get 15% off your purchase on that website, guys. All right. So appreciate that, man. Uh, no doubt, no doubt. Joey Bags, hit him up on IG. All right. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, that's that's what we have. Uh, you guys ain't got anything to show off. I don't have anything to show off. Uh, y'all got any little quick pickups or some shit you want to just show off to the guys in the chat? Yeah, people in the chat? I, I, I got some things. Yep. I got right, some start things off with you. Yeah, you let's go with Erod. And let's start with you, Erod. Yeah. All right. So, uh, again, shout out to Josh Graff for hooking it up. I got uh, these from Biggs the other day. That oh, nice. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yo, you can never go wrong with spawn covers, bro. You can't. No. Nice covers. Damn, man. Damn. Low print, all low print. And all low print. Mm -hmm. All in the low print. And like I was saying before the other day, once they get to over 200, they go into like the under 15,000 on the print run. It really yeah. starts to dip. Okay. Okay. Doing oh, nice violator. Okay. And then uh, I stopped at A&S. Yeah. And I picked... Uh, Ah, nice yeah. for 30. Nice, very nice. Yeah, they have good deals. And, and... Oh, shit. Uh, and this is way nice. better than VG, it's clean. Um, and he gave me a deal on it. And then I stopped at another LCS that I go to, uh, Main Street Comics. Yeah, it's not even my LCS, but oh, ah, nice, probably a 9698 candidate. And then this is the last one, and this yeah. is another one. Ooh. Ooh, never seen that book. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Because yeah. Josh had hooked me up, but I, Broski, I know this is on your list, right? Yeah. yeah That's one. dope. It's a hard yeah. one to get. Hey, Broski, wipe your, wipe your mouth real quick, man. <laughs> <laughs> Broski's oh. down to three covers, three books? Yeah, yeah. he's nice, about to show. I'm, he's about to show off a, a book that he picked up recently. Uh, I mean, Joe who, started following you. You never follow me, Joe. You ain't getting good. <laughs> Yo, who wants to go next? Yeah, who wants I'll to go next? The, just give no, him I got a haul train. coming up. I got a haul coming up. In I got a couple you. Of days. I got a haul coming up in a couple of days. But I'm just give you a quick sneak peek as far as some stuff that I picked up because everybody's over here. So I'm actually backtracking on some of this stuff. And this is yeah. stuff I picked up before, but I'm just like, you know what? They're going cheap right now, so I'm picking them up. So I'll show you two things I picked up, and right. you got to watch the haul for the rest. This okay. is one of them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Love that. Yeah. Very hard to find. Yeah, right now with the whole, like, Doctor Strange, magic, everybody thought she was going to be a Sorcerer Supreme. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just picked this up. I just, nobody's really looking at this Addy Granos, and um, it came by the way of cheap. A lot of this stuff right now. And then this is another one that I just think as as uh, as he appears in the MCU, this book will get bigger. Mm. Right now, this is probably about a three hundred dollar raw book. That's crazy. Yeah, but I picked this up way cheaper right now, so I'm super happy with these. Um, again, it's just these. You know, no one's really kind of looking at them. No one's talking about this that, thing. Is that nice, Squadron but... Supreme is a, a white whale. It's not easy yeah. to find, man. Yeah, this thing is. I'm, like, I'm, I'm not a slab guy, but honestly, I might slab this. Slab worthy? I, because I think, so this book right here, if you can get it for 200 that's a deal. All right? Yeah. It usually goes for about 300 If you slab it, it's about a $1,000 book. I mean, yeah. honestly, when I first got this, I was like, dude, this thing is clean. Like, so, I haven't seen a Scourge Supreme, like. What's the ratio on that? I forgot the ratio on that. Is that the one in 25 yeah, think it's a one twenty five, right? Something like that. Yeah. But first of all, nobody was even picking Scorch Supreme. But as Namor gets more and more popular, I'm believe it, you. believe it, I, I picked my copy up uh, when when that was going on. So, so was I because that's the beheading of Namor in yeah. the series. Remember that? Yep. But that, that series, like you said, though, that's about 2014, 2015, right? Yes. And yes, dude, that series was not a popular series, man. So uh, the those the ratio on that, I would like to know exactly how many copies of that there are. You know. 
That's a good question. Yeah, so yeah. This, this is just a sneak peek of a couple of the books that... Um, sneak peeky. Sneak Ironic peeky. that that doom gave me <laughs> that book in the contest. There you yeah, go. Yeah, it was back in the day. I did. I did. I did. So is that dope, man? So who want to go next, man? Who got some stuff to show next, up? I'll go next. All right, broski. Damn, give, you my, give you my sneaky peeky. Yeah. Sneaky Ooh. peeky. Don't hurt, don't hurt him, bro, man. Oh, yeah, this one. Uh, Nola Comics. Hook me up with that. And then I got this one. I just recently got that one. Yeah, so you all, you all he's missing from his list is three more spawn issues. Three more spawns. Wait a minute. Um, I thought that one is the one that you just wanted January. from me. I'll take it. I'll take two. Don't matter, dude. Yeah, yeah. Take it off your hands. I'm not uh, gonna complain. I'll still take that one. I could be wrong, but I thought it was that one. Yeah, double check. I'll take it still. It's still a ice cream. Man? Yeah, it's ice this cream man. One, ice cream man number twelve, and then ice cream man number eleven. I'm just trying is, to. Is, is that Frank Cavella doing that work? Yeah, it, it is. Looks right? like B yeah. covers. Yeah, because he did the like. He's the guy that did the uh, Afterlife with Archie, kind of yeah. Yeah. similar to that stuff. And then I was able to pick up these. Hey. Oh, nice, nice, yeah. Number seven. Are, number seven, yeah. That's yeah, the that's the Neil Adams variant. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Neil Adams. Yes. I got yes. two of these bad boys. First They're near really nice They are conditions. coming. They are coming. And yeah. then, you guys uh, saw that thing with uh, that guy from the office. Picked up these yeah. Devil Reigns one in twenty five. Didn't yeah. see that. Is that JR JR? That looks like yeah. his type of rain. I tell you, JR JR does a certain kind of rain. Yeah, and he, he he's the only one that does it. He did it on the these two right here too. Killed off in number one. Yeah. It's good, it's just starting to heat up. Uh, issue 19 to get that seat cover. I'm telling you right now, that seat cover on the next FOC. You gonna check it out. And I found this, I, I forgot I had this oh, one. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's Come a big book now. That, yeah. That's that yeah, is now a war book, bro. Damn, yeah, really? I found this for yeah. like I think five bucks. About I saw you too. The last yeah. show I went to, there was like three of those on three different walls. You know, like uh, three different vendors had that on their wall as walls. Yeah, everything's a fucking wall. And then I picked this one up because I wanted to have oh, it. Oh, nice. yeah, that's a great one, man. That's a classic. That's a great. That's yeah. an old good, oldie but goodie. Yeah. Yes. Old. This this starting to heat up, too, because of the team. Yeah. And, yeah. And then I, this is what we're talking about. My cl- I like this one. I couldn't pass this one up in this exclusive Ooh. to 3000. That's nice. It's, uh, Homage to scary stories to tell them. Is dark. that an ice cream man also, or what shall we? Yeah, it's an ice cream man. Okay. Issue twenty six, I believe, or twenty seven. Actually, that's like a, that's a virgin cover, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that, man. That's, that's this is what I'm telling nice. you, man. All you YouTubers, if you you guys sleeping on Gomez, I'm telling you. Oh, <laughs> the people don't realize. People has been around for a long time. He ain't yeah. doing it in the kitchen no more, bro. He's doing it in the kitchen. And then I got this one. Recently. Look at that! See, look, look. Second, nice. second print though. Second print. The second the, oh, print goes for like even better. Bucks. I got this one at auction for like ten bucks. I won it off of an auction. Everybody was sleeping on this one. Second nice. print. So nice. happy to have that one. There you go. Oh my bad. I'm not even following Joe four seven seven one myself. <laughs> Joey <laughs> bags. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, real quick, man, before I move on to Josh, man, we got a $10 super chat there from Roman Curtis. He said, great show, Gomez, Doom, and Erod. Thanks, Doom and Erod, for coming to help Gomez carry the heavy load. Oh, hey, to the other two guys, you two were finally all right, I guess. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit, yo. Thank you so much for that, man. Uh, Let me see if I can hit him up with a nice little super chat. Old school Let let Broski say What is this? It's Kazizu. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no, no. <laughs> Man, that turned out even better than I heard. Kazizu. Yo, the CA oh, is for cover artists, bro. Cover artists, right? but yeah. Oh, that's classic. <laughs> that's my prime right there. <laughs> oh, that is prime, you said. <laughs> Yeah, we've been sleeping on Broski a long time. Yeah, listen, man, I never slept on Broski, man. Yeah, Broski got a nice collection. All right, so we're gonna move on to Josh, man. Let's see what you got, Josh. Well, I, sh- <clears throat> I showed these these four the other day, but I have some other stuff too. Uh, I know Doom, you like She Hole covers, don't you? It depends, don't you? I guess. Yeah, of course. What you got? What you got? What you got? Uh, okay, so nice. nice. That's the Iron Man one hundred homage. Yeah. Don't hurt him, Josh. Those are all the, the Greg Horn covers. Yes. Yeah. Don't hurt him, mm-hmm. Josh. Look at you with your black oh. shirt and your gray hat. Look Was that the Michael's? Michael's. Suppressible defect type of 
I like that cover. <laughs> oh, the shirt. <laughs> Uh, he's trying Christmas. to grow his beard like a brother. Look at him. He's trying to grow, trying to compete with his brother. Yes. I know. I think. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep going. We're gonna become the comic beards. I think. Oh, That's a good name. Wow. Beard with stuff. beer. <laughs> Trademark. Uh, just uh, let you know right now, the Nick's beard is just gonna be better than yours. It bro, should be so. bag. It should be bag. <laughs> it should be bag boards and beards, bro. Ooh. Bad boards. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> or bags and beards. Yeah. Be fake. <laughs> the, the triple B brothers. Yeah. <laughs> so I uh this is both it was both awesome and concerning. I'm not quite sure what what this was doing in my nightstand, but I found this along with some other things in my nightstand. I know what it was. You was jerking off to it, bro. That's what it was. They uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, what do I was in the nightstand right next to the lotion and tissues? <laughs> no man, I go dry. Oh, yeah, yeah. I so uh, so nice, I was thinking about um, just spit. <laughs> I, I know that I had like a stack of of Thor <laughs> Thor five uh, third printings in that nightstand for some reason. I can't remember why I put them in there. I think I, I don't know. I just didn't have any room at the time, and I just forgot them. And this was underneath it. I'm like, I don't even know where this came from. Yeah, that's uh, a, that's an awesome cover, man. That's is just a centerfold sticky. No. <laughs> Uh, nice dead special. There you go. That's got, the nicest. I got this really nice. That's copy. a nice, nice. newsstand. New stand. Yeah. Yeah. You stand. You don't see that too. Yo, you don't. You don't. You don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need that. I do. I do, that. I do though. <laughs> and then I got this to replace my. Uh, replace. Huh? I, I I think I have a seven zero or a seven five of this. <sighs> so. Nice. I mean nothing nothing big but. No, yeah. I mean, you, are you going to sell the, the, the lower grade? Hey, right? everybody stay tuned. Yeah. That's the giveaway that Josh is doing yeah. tonight. Yeah, everybody. yeah. <laughs> I got to find it. I don't know. where. Oh, you know what? I can't remember if I I might have traded that in the Walking Dead trade. I yes. can't remember. Maybe no, not. Fuck this guy. You know, I'm showing a $300 comic that I got for $100. And he's over here showing his <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, yo, yo, um, are you, are you going to sell the, the, the lower grade one? If I still have it, yeah, yeah he gonna keep it. Like I said, I might have, I might have already traded it. I mean, stay tuned, guys. I don't have a flyer for it, but I know our Biggs is doing an auction this Saturday, guys. Um, I, I'm not gonna be around. I'm out of town this weekend. Are you gonna be available, Josh? Are I'm sorry. Available? Repeat that. Are you gonna do the auction on Saturday? On Saturday? Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I should be there. I think so. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, man. Stay tuned for that, man. New York Warriors is doing an auction Saturday, guys. Uh, you have more? Or are you done? Um, are you telling him he's done, or he, can he go still go? <laughs> he can still go. Man. He's yeah. done. He's done. I, I found these. Obviously, I did not pay what these are going for. Now, I I nice. would never, would never, never ever. Tell us. Um, but you know, they're pretty nice. They're both really nice, actually. I'm telling you, on whatnot right now, everybody's asking for Moon Knight and freaking. Yeah. Um, of course, yeah. And um, are they asking for specific books still? No, they just they want Moon Knight okay. and they want um. They want to read it. They want to catch Strange up. Academy. Strange Academy and what? And um, yeah, well, Strange Knight Academy is shoot. blowing up again. It, it me and Rob been talking about that since that, like 2018. Tell you know what's about. funny though? Yeah. The prices Remember that Strange people... when it first came out? We were yeah, all yeah. scooping out of Mama Gomez, the J. Scott yeah. Campbells. Yeah. But the prices yeah. that these people are willing to play on whatnot, I'm like, why don't you just go on eBay? They're so I know. That's just crazy. stupid. I did see the person who's shipping them, so they're happy. I don't. I can't remember if I showed these but peanut and i were trying to this was a while ago but he oh, finally yeah. sent blue me marvel? these yeah all the blue marvel stuff oh, that we could yeah. find mm. this was like during like the yeah so anything that has was on that the, the avengers run right put in my pile yeah so the mighty avengers run avengers, yeah. um <laughs> put in my pile too josh there you go put in mine and gomez pile. put one right there one for gomez and then one for doom there you go if you have three, one for brother, one for yeah, Gomez, yeah. and then he sent me a couple of these. He also sent me a couple yeah. ratios. Mm. This is Peanut, the, what the fuck, Peanut? This is the second printing. Is uh, this is this is hard to find. This book we found a bunch of them at one place, huh? It's hard to find. This guy's got four of them in his hand. It, it, it is hard to find. He found them at, at one store, and I can't Midtown remember. Comics? The store. Nope, <laughs> that's a Midtown comic label. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I might be confusing this with one of the other with one of the other second prints that I got. Sorry, I probably man. am. 
Trying to mess with comic collectors in here? No, because I remember hey, you got it's one a professional comic like collector, bro. Professional comic collector. I know what a midtown label looks like. Oh man! Yeah, but yeah man. Shout, shout to out to Peanut for that. Josh bought them all. No, no, I didn't buy him. Peanut bought them. Yeah, Peanut. Very low print. Only made four copies. Yeah, only made four <laughs> copies. Josh scooped them all. <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, shout out to um, Peanut for that, man. Uh, again, guys, hey, man. Yeah. Peanut. Yeah, nothing. shout out to Peanut for that, man. Yo, uh, definitely check that. Uh, check out the Warriors on Saturday. Guys, check out my, my whole video, man. I'm back doing whole videos, baby. You already know. You already know. I've uh, been doing a whole video. My latest whole video I dropped Wednesday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, but you haven't done one since your prime, son. It don't, it don't matter. When's the last time you did yours? Okay. Uh, 20, All 2019. Right. Uh, ex- okay. All right. I'm- <laughs> since he was oh, in the yeah. kitchen, bro. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's no cocina. Yeah, it's, it's all right. But uh, stay tuned for, I mean, Short stay tuned for late. every Wednesday. I'm dropping my whole videos. Uh, I'm just doing, you know, books that I haven't showed off, you know, since I've been picking them up. And current ones, you know, my current pickups. Uh, let me see over here what they're saying. Uh, he went to the nice stand stash. <laughs> uh, and um, go nice around, day, let everybody say their goodbyes, man. Uh, start off with Erod, man. All right, yo, appreciate you guys having me on, man. It, it was fun. I, I told you I'd be here, Josh. I told you. I'd be here. <laughs> I appreciate that, Erod. It's always no, no, no. It's always a good time whenever I can jump on with you guys. Always good conversation. I like talking to guys like Doom that know what he's talking about. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, motherfuckers know shit. Yeah. I mean, you know, my man yeah. Doom is all right. He educates me. I like, I like the education. Right, that's why I talk to the little guy up top, bro. You know, that's my dude right there, you know? Yeah, we, we don't know shit over here. Nah. We, just, yeah. <laughs> we don't know nothing. I, I, I know it's all jokes, bro. You know it's all jokes. I know, I know. I know. Yeah, yeah, uh, You know what? Uh, I've been dropping videos uh, three times. I haven't checked your back nines yet, but you just dropped uh, 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 a CBSI. The sign. one is really good. They put they put some real good information on there. There's some guys on that <laughs> do that back nine that mm-hmm. go deep, man, and they make you think, you know? And it was good because I'm not versed, like we were talking about before, I'm not versed in the Dark Horse. Mm. Um, Star Wars stuff that well, so uh, I'm learning as I go along watching this stuff, you know, and, and doing these videos with them. And if you haven't checked out uh, the back nine on CBSI's website, go check that out, man. You know, Ben C and those guys do a great job on on uh, CBSI. It's just that's a great website. If, if you're a new collector, you can get so much information on that website. I mean, you, you see it on Eros channel with the back nines. You see over here the cover fire and the cover tunes yeah, with Mike Morello. Thorough, thorough, thorough thorough the that, that's just how much information they're putting out there. That yeah. multiple channels besides us uh, are able to put out weekly episodes of, of just content, and it's all different. It's not the same, and that's you know that's good. Yeah, and you got the FOC with the uh, East Meets West. Yeah, yeah, FOC, definitely. You know, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You guys do something. Thorough does something. The defects do something. Couple of tales from the flip side, right? You know. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man. A lot of stuff from CBSI going on. Content over here on YouTube. So, ch- definitely check out comicbookinvest.com, guys. Uh, Doom. Yeah. So I should have a haul coming up within the next couple of days. I was waiting for one book. And I got it. I got it from uh, Prime eight hundred five on eBay, um, okay. on Instagram. I was waiting for this one book. He gave me a really good deal. So after that, boom, put out a haul, and I uh, have another haul coming up in probably another couple weeks. After that, I got some Mickey Mouse. No, not Mickey Mouse. Mighty Mouse stuff that uh, I'm pretty stoked about. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I got some Mighty Mouse stuff. I was just like, Mighty Mouse. Wow. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Mike, Mike I like Pope Grimey's thing right there. Uh, Pope Grimey, what he uh, he said, I like Erod trying to pronounce all those Star Wars names. Impossible. It's I sound like Gomez talking English, bro. <laughs> <laughs> as, long, as long as you don't sound like David trying to speak English, you're fine. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's fucked up, but true. That's true. Man. <laughs> Uh yeah, real quick, man. Uh, with a five dollar super chat from um, Biggs, man. Uh, he says double header on Saturday, nine thirty a.m. Coffee and comics. Uh, I'm gonna try to make that one there, guys. I'm out of town, but I'm gonna try to get on the phone. Uh, and then nine thirty p.m., guys. Eastern. This is Eastern time, guys. Uh, New York Warriors auction. Definitely tune in for those, man. Uh, great time, man. Well, with with the Warriors. And you know, know if you have not checked out the coffee and comics, it's actually really refreshing. It like is. It's actually a very ref- it's, no, it's a very refreshing. You know why? Because you catch all these people like early in the morning, and they're like super chill, and it's just like it. it 
everybody's uh everybody's uh, comes off different it's nice i like it yeah you get literally the first thing in the morning getting up brush my teeth coffee and then the camera and all that shit it's, it's yeah, just yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's different. huh yeah. in the summertime i'm usually done hunting already i usually walk in <laughs> when you guys <laughs> oh my god yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's crazy. But uh so, Josh That's a good show. It's a lot of fun. It's a it's a smooth show. Hey no, Erod, you Erod, when it comes to hunting, you already took care of NY. Are you gonna think about traveling outside and maybe doing some stuff outside? You know, yeah. like you know what I mean? Like beyond your state. Like uh, so I do. I I, well, I just, beyond I, beyond Connecticut. I mean like uh, well I I what I, I I've been venturing into Pennsylvania a little bit, you know. Okay. And then what I do is I do stadium tours. Right, right. I never documented though, and that's something I'm probably going to start doing. So every year I go to a different stadium exactly. and I look for shops in every state I go to. That's mm. awesome. And do some hunting there. I, I think the best one I ever went to it was I was in Minnesota, and mm. this store was basically like almost a warehouse. I found it by accident. It was a last minute thing. You know how you do a Google search on your phone? And I hit up a comic shop. I didn't call it. The place was closed down. And I did a search right there, and I found the shop. It was amazing. You know, just you know, those are the ones you like. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the big thing. That's yeah. Hell yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, but, yeah. You, you, you go in these places, they know who you are. They see your videos. You ain't getting a deal for shit. <laughs> and, and this is the reason why I don't know why James complained. <laughs> now you got a seven foot. Like we know who you are, bastard. You know, right. like, like, yeah, you know, know who, who, I know who the fuck you are. Easy. You know, yeah. You know who the it, fuck it you are? Like you you know, it's not him. You know. Like, you, know, you know what it is. I think people like you are gonna start doing like. We all thirsty. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Doing, it's true. You gotta start lot. doing cross state, but you gotta do like free market cross states and like. Yeah, that's a good you idea. You gotta do garage okay. sale cross state because I think the comic shops you're no good already. They see yeah, you. You know. You know. Even if it is like this. <laughs> And even though, even even though, I'm sorry to cut you off, Ira, but even though they know you in comic shops, they still give you a good deal, regardless. You know? No, I'm, I'm I'm kidding. Like especially um, you when you establish relationships with like uh, I go to Clifton and the Wayne Show, and I kind of know all the dealers in there, and and sometimes you get some decent deals just because they know who you are and you you have conversations with them. You can't just be you know, it, it, you know how it is. You go to one of these shows and we wind up talking to the dealers. You know, like we go to Connecticut. I'll be talking with Richie for a half hour, just yeah. bullshitting about nothing but the Yankees and stuff like that. You yeah. know? Yeah. Uh, I was I was mentioning to, to Josh, uh, like you know, keep, we, we always mention Richie, man. We got to get him on the show, man. Richie's yo, you talk to him and he'll talk. Yo, he'll talk your ear off. He has stories beyond stories beyond stories, man. Great dude, man. Great dude. He's he's just a good dude, man. Yeah. You know, he's fun you know to talk I mean? to. Yeah, uh, especially in the shows. Yeah, man, he's he's awesome. <laughs> you know, uh, Josh, say your piece, man. I'm Jones in for a CGC unboxing badly, like so badly. I'm going through withdrawal. I have one book on the way back right now, just one, and I don't know what to do with it. And it is a Werewolf by Night 32. Funny, really, enough. it is. How, how big is the order? No, the order's big. It's just that was the only one in the express tier. Oh, I, you know, I, one, just one coming back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's like, I have like 150 books down there, but that's the only one that's, that's on, on its way back. And and I can't wait to see what this one is because this one, I, I mean, Mike saw it yeah. beforehand. Peanut saw it beforehand. It had a bad roll. It had bad ticks that were on the cover, and I realigned it, and all the ticks like rolled to like right like on right the, here the edge, yeah the so they're like not even visible so i i can't wow. wait if i had to guess like in that shape that book was probably like a five five or a six so i'm excited to see what that's going to be I, it's still probably going to be too low for what you i want it to be you didn't look at the grade no, not on this one. I, no, not on this one. I the only ones, it. the only ones that I'll peek at is is walk through tier, mm -hmm. because like I feel I don't know. It's weird. Like I feel like for some reason, like if there's a problem with those books, like I need to know like immediately. Immediately, right? Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, <clears throat> yo, uh, me and Erod and, and Biggs was talking. Like, what was it, like, last week? Uh, we might we might hit up um uh Connecticut next month, man. Uh, hit up Richie shop and do a couple things up there, man. Uh, if you your boy Paul, you want to holler at your boy Paul, you know that'd be awesome too. You know, mm -hmm. um, tell him that we won't. You know, we're from New York, but we're not gonna stick him up. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, awesome time, man. Uh, like I was telling Erod a couple weeks ago, I gotta try to see if he'll let it, let it, everyone come to his house because that's where the. I mean, he's got a lot of stuff in his store now, but like. 
that's where the big collection is and uh it's barely touched so wow. yeah man i don't know um definitely guys again oh, guys where, uh, that, i'm sorry that's where this werewolf uh by night 32 came out come of. from nice yeah uh 4.5 uh, I'm gonna guess he's told about the book they told about. Um, yeah, man. Uh, guys, check out FOC that we do. Uh, we recorded earlier. We'll drop it in tomorrow. Stay on top of your FOC, guys. Your your pull list. Uh, hit up your your, your LCS. Uh, get your orders in before FOC, guys. All right. You don't have to wait for the FOC. You can get your orders in. You know what I mean? But just you know, by FOC is the time is the cutoff, guys. All right. A lot of good books on FOC this week. Yes. A lot of a lot of cool covers, a lot of good but what is he talking about four or five? Is that what he's thinking? My world by name? Yeah. yeah, no yeah. way is it no he's way about earthquake. Four or five. No is it way. about an earthquake or a Detroit? <laughs> <laughs> he, he's talking about Josh a four or five? Yeah, nah, there you go. That's not four, even five. is his realm, bro. <laughs> He just yeah. walks away. It's gotta bro. be like I said, it's I, I'm hoping it's gotta be a, at least a six five. Um, but yeah, guys, it's a stay tuned for FOC yet tomorrow. Uh, it's a, it's a little long, it's like an hour long. Um, but you got plenty of books and good shit that you know, uh, t- to look out for. Uh, Broski, end up with you, man. What you got? Thank you for everybody for watching. Appreciate it. That's it. it. God bless. That's it. God bless. Good night. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <Happy New Year. laughs> no, no, I appreciate all, uh, all the positive stuff you guys gave me earlier. Oh, we didn't, we didn't Nothing talk about, we talk about, about it. it. We talk didn't talk about, about the uh, the Microsoft acquisition of Activision. You could talk about it real quick if you want. You know, before that's I haven't a, said my goodbye, that's not, that's I don't know what story. that means. Isn't Activision a, a, a system that was Video done game. a long time ago? No, that, was wasn't that before software. Atari? Uh, no. Activision make games. They make games. Right. Uh, yeah. well, they, 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 they acquired yeah. Blizzard too, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, it's Activision Dude. Blizzard. Activision Blizzard, the publisher, and then all the studios underneath that. I think that's well, that's not, a big not, that's a Call, big move from Xbox. Now, now Call of Duty and everything is exclusive right now. To well, it's them, not. A, right? Well, no, it, they don't know yet. See, it's big, but I'm worried about and and if, and this is the problem. And a lot of people are saying this, even people that do Xbox podcasts. And I and I have to agree. And I don't think this is the time to go into this now. It's just going to drag out way too long. This conversation. It's it's <laughs> what this means going forward. Because Microsoft is starting to skirt that line when it starts coming to uh, monopoly and antitrust. And, and they're not going to get blocked on this, probably. But I don't know. It's, it's a bold move by them. They overpaid, but they can overpay. Microsoft has ridiculous amounts of money. Um, they paid. Yeah, uh, but did they overpay with a purpose? There's got to be a plan. Well, it's not like, you know, Disney paying $4 billion well, for Star Wars. But the thing is, is what did they pay for exactly? They paid for a company that, yes, makes a lot of money, but they paid for a company that's making games that are on a decline while they still make a lot of money. Call of Duty obviously makes a lot of money. That's the number one obvi- mm-hmm. in terms of what they went after it for. It's... It still makes a lot of money, but it makes the least amount of money com- in comparison to what it used to make. Right. By far, it makes nowhere close to what Call of Duty used to make. Yeah, because now now you got Fortnite and other games that you know are well, Halo, similar right to that. Halo, yeah, and, and Halo. Halo yeah, yeah. is ridiculous. But definitely like, top of the line, one time Call of Duty was like... At least we really lose the... And it's, <laughs> it's, still, it's still popular. It's just not as popular as it was. All the Blizzard properties, I don't know if you guys read on what's going on with Blizzard, but there's been a lot of internal problems with Blizzard over the last couple of years. A lot of people have left that studio. Over well, you, heard why. you heard why, right? Yeah. Was, well, there's, uh, there was all that um, allegations. Uh, they just got rid of CEO and everything because of um, yeah, sexual misconduct. Sexual misconduct yeah. and everything else in that place. Dirty mother suckers. Oh, that's what Biggs said. Biggs is happy about Candy Crush. See, now, I see and that's a good point right there. I, honestly, I think the biggest win for them in that whole thing is Candy Crush. Candy Crush. That's huge. Candy Crush makes so much money they off do. of microtransactions. It's not so much Call of Duty. It's not It's not Overwatch. Yes, those are they make a lot of money, but there's problems surrounding them and all the other properties that that came with it is i don't know it it, it, it's it's so hard to tell with this deal there's i've never seen a deal won't they make a fortune on like when you have to buy bundle packs and all of that stuff because now you have to go straight through microsoft you know (laughs) 
No. Well, yeah, but they don't. But the thing no, is, but- is they're not sure, or they. I'm sure they probably know, but they haven't announced yet if they're gonna make all of these properties exclusive to Microsoft. I'm sure some of them probably will be. I, not all of them. Microsoft is I, not like Sony in the way where if Sony buy when Sony has an, a first party exclusive or a second party exclusive it is exclusive. Right. Microsoft, yeah. that's not what they're about. They they do it sometimes, but they'll put it on all platforms. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, because they they're gonna make their money regardless. You know, you, you yeah, know yeah. that's what I'm saying. But now they own the property. So now let's say, and I'm just throwing Call of Duty out there because it's it's something that that it's I'm a popular game. Yeah, with, yeah. right. You have Call of Duty. Microsoft now owns it, right? Mm-hmm. And now you have to buy the way to get people. It's not the games anymore. It's buying the add-ons for the games. That's where yeah. all the money is really made. So now they're going to own that monopoly on that game and yeah. all the add-ons. That that's revenue that's going straight to them now. Yeah. That's where they're going to make all their money. Smart. So that's a big it move. Pays the, it pays for them to let uh, PlayStation put those games out. PlayStation makes nothing on the, the add-ons or anything else. It all goes to Sony. It does if they're not interested in selling consoles. And honestly, I don't think Xbox want Xbox wants to be in the console market anymore. Right. I think they want to be in the Game Pass market. And mm-hmm. I know, like a lot of people are like, see, it, it this this goes so much deeper than obviously the surface because there's there's a lot of pros to it, but there's an awful lot of cons to it too. Where people are like, oh, this is awesome because Call of Duty will come to Game Pass now and it's da-da-da-da-da. And it's like, well, yeah, that that might be cool, but eventually they're going to have to start making money back off of all this money that they just put into buying Activision Blizzard and buying ZeniMax, which is Bethesda and all those studios. I mean, you're talking up about almost $100 billion between those two alone. Game Pass is going to go up eventually. Yeah, what's but, a 19, what's a $15 or something like that now right a month? No, uh, I don't know, ten or something. Yeah, ten. I, I don't know. My son has it. Um, but uh, what was I just gonna say? But the th- the the biggest problem that I have is what I want to see is Xbox has had a hard enough time managing their their like six internal studios that they've had, and now they have I I don't even know how many. I think it's like thirty six or something crazy like that internal studios, and they were having a hard enough time managing six. And and even some of the new ones that they acquired before Zenimax and before this, which obviously won't go through for some time, mm-hmm. nothing has come really out of those studios still as of yet. And they started kind of doing what Sony was doing, where they would either make some studios or acquire some little studios and kind of build them up. And we still haven't seen anything out. And that was like three years ago, three, four years ago, granted COVID and all that. But still, you know, they're they're definitely playing catch up in the – um the console space and the and the game space because they don't make as while Microsoft has way more money, way more money than Sony, Sony still makes more money in the video game space than Xbox does. But I don't think I don't think Microsoft cares. I mean I really don't. I mean Xbox is such a small <clears throat> small Yo, I, Bill Gates is a genius, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, regardless if they're not into the console games or whatever, what like the move that they did with, with Activision and Blizzard, uh, it's a smart move. It's a big move. It's a good move for them, you know. Um, so shout out to Xbox for that, you know. That's a power um, move, bro. That's, yeah, that's a power move. Yes, it is, man. Well, the thing is, is is what does it what does it forebode for the future? That are, are they trying to get something else? And the only other thing that I think that they might try to get is EA. But like they've already kind of like roused some of these antitrust guys which a lot of people are saying or not a lot of people but some people are saying oh this is going to get blocked. Highly doubt that the whole the uh, Activision Blizzard one is going to get blocked. But if they keep going they're they're going to end up ruffling a lot of fe- fe- uh, feathers because a lot of these video game people are very anti corporation and anti merger and anti all this <laughs> but and they have a point in in some respects where yeah. if you have one company that that literally buys up everything there's no competition and no competition does nothing for the industry there's no, you know nobody's trying to one up the next by making something greater. 
And it, uh, we, we could end it there. This could go on. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to turn off my camera too, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, um, guys, man, let's let me just end this out the show, man. Guys, stay tuned again, man, for the FOC for tomorrow at I forgot what time. We're twelve o'clock. We'll drop it uh, in the afternoon. Uh, this weekend, gay guys, I'm not gonna be available to do the auction with the fellas, man. But I, I'll be around to do coffee and comics. Um, yeah, again, watch my whole video. I just dropped it yesterday. You have this show to watch again, man. Uh, you have the FOC. We got things going on. You know, we're gonna try to come up with more things and better things for the show. Uh, besides that, man, I want to say everybody enjoy your weekend. Enjoy, uh, you know, the rest of the week. I should say, hey, you know, uh, and. Uh, make sure you put your orders in for your LCS, guys. All right, man. Watch the FOC. All right. Be on time. Don't be behind. All right. Later. Peace. Peace. Cut like a guillotine.